everyone. All right, it should be good. Hello? Hello? Check. Check one, two. Oh, my God. Hold up. Let me check my output settings. Profile high. Advanced. Turn on the fridge. Oh, shit. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, now it's good. I, I was looking with my settings, too. My bad. I, I turned off one of my scenes. I almost deleted one of my Just Test Tops. Got my first actual Twitch paycheck. $431 is the amount I got paid. Uh, good for you. Good for you. Uh, I hope you notice that after taxes, that number will be less. Because uh, Twitch doesn't take taxes out of your paycheck. 100 push-ups right now. You're late. I'm not doing goddamn push-ups, buddy. You think I'm doing push-ups because I'm late, pal? Sit the fuck down. Don't put him down now. What do you mean don't put him down now? Do them? I'm not putting... I'm not doing 100 push-ups. I, should I do 100 push-ups? No. How the fuck would I... Where would I do push-ups, chat? Meanwhile, hello everybody from the f***ing notification. How is everybody doing on this fine... What day is it? Friday? F goddamn Friday. W noty. W day. Best day of the goddamn week. Other than Saturdays. Okay, so second best day of the week. Second best day of the week is Friday. All right, we got some big react days. Uh, or react videos, rather. Big react day today. Uh, two that vegan teacher videos. One on the Queen Elizabeth uh, that she just made. Uh, I was told that she insults the Queen quite a lot in this video, so that should be good. Uh, then we have one that she made on Darman that we've never actually seen before, which was a year ago. Uh, a Darman video. I'm 30 and I embalm dead bodies for a living. How FaZe Clan lost its entire audience in one month. Which stripper makes the most money surviving on one penny in the most expensive city? Uh, and then I gave a gummy snake to a homeless man. A great way to end off our React Friday. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> in last title makes no goddamn sense. Flex really hard. Uh, we're going to keep the noty box off. Everybody knows that. I don't usually mention that anymore. Adrian for the Thringe Bits. Hi, Joe. Remember me? Yes. I think. I think I remember you. Uh, your mom for the sub. A for the sub. XX for the sub. Uh, are you guys ready to get into the goddamn React Day? Big React Day today. Let's get into it. Queen Elizabeth. Polite and kind or cruel and cowardly? How creative. That vegan teacher. Stephen P. For the five gifteds. On this fine September. Stephen P408 for the goddamn five gifteds. Thank you. So I guess by now you all heard about the Queen of England dying. Yeah. I think everybody in the entire world has heard. I was kind of wondering what you all thought about her. But first of all, let me show you what's written on my shirt. Okay? It says, Vegan because paying for the rape. Can you guys hear this? Vegan because paying for the rape, kidnapping, sadness, and murder no longer tasted good. <laughs> Godly potato for the f***ing gifteds. How many was that? How many was that? How many was that? 50 fucking gifteds? Godly potato one three six for the fifty fuck gifties, dude. Dub in the chat. That's a lot of fucking subs. Already on a level three hype train. Christ. Thank Godly Potato or Steven if he got a sub, because that's a lot of fucking subs. Massive dub, Godly Potato one three six. You are a fucking beast. Thank you for all the subs. And thanks from my community as well. Big dubs. Kidnapping, sadness. And murder no longer tasted good. See, I became vegan when I found out what happens to the animals. About all these. I became vegan when I found out that they kill the animals that I'm eating. Really? Really? I would have never guessed. I would have never guessed that the animals that I'm eating are dead. Zombie for the sub, Steven P for the 
fucking 10 gifties, dude. Christ. Zombie Crusher for the sub with Prime. Steven P for the 10 gifteds. Man, so many dubs in the chat right now. Thank you for all the subs. You guys are beasts. Terrible things that we do to them. And yes, we do. It's not just my country. It's every country. There are so many Doesn't places. she live in Canada? Is that abuse animals. The Holocaust never ended for them. Pigs are still being murdered in gas chambers at six months old. And so many billions of animals are needlessly harmed. Every single okay. day. Okay, okay. A lot of people get on me when I react to that vegan teacher because they'll say that I'm, like, supporting the uh, torture of animals. I don't torture... I don't, I don't agree with the torturing of animals. I'm not saying... Godly potato for the 20 gifties. For the 20 gifties. What the fuck? Why are there so many subs? Oh my god. Godly potato 136 for the 20 subs. Zombie, a different zombie for the sub of Prime. Zombie Crusher and then Zombie Alec. Two different zombies. Wow, who would have guessed? All right. Uh, flex really hard if you didn't. I already did. Chat! Chat! Back to that vegan teacher. What the fuck was I saying? I, un I don't support the torture and killings of animals brutally, right? But I'm still gonna eat animals, right? We're omnivores. We're half and half. We eat vegetables, we eat meat. I'm gonna fucking eat that shit. Steven P for the 10 gifties. WHY ARE YOU GUYS GIVING SOME F***ING SUBS?! I'VE BEEN STREAMING FOR F***ING SEVEN MINUTES! I AM 57, 56, SIX SECONDS IN THE GODDAMN VIDEO, AND WE HAVE 70 F***ING SUBS. Goddamn. SUBTEMBER, BABY! 20% OFF SUBS, I THINK. What is the percentage off subs this month? I have no idea. It's a percentage off. K Kai K Kju Kju game Kju gamer. I don't know how to fucking say that. Thank you for the sub. Soylent for the sub for twelve months. Godly potato and Stephen P. Thank you very much. They're thirty percent off. It depends. If you're doing longer purchases, they they have some whole scale for September of what is off on what. I don't even know. I don't I don't memorize it because I don't fucking shout it out. I just say it's September and then people can figure it out. Pan for the sub. Uh, back to what I was saying. I don't support, like, the, the brutal killings of animals, right? But I'm gonna fuck up a damn McChicken, okay? I'm gonna fuck up a damn McChicken. Am I wrong, chat? Is that relatable? Yeah or nay? Are y'all gonna fuck up a damn McChicken? I'm gonna fuck up a McChicken, okay? I, I'm not, I'm not proud of how they're killing said animal. I don't think they should. If they could be free-range chickens, I would rather than be free-range free chickens, right? Like, I'm all for an advocate of, like, oh, grass-fed cows that are, like, in their open, open area, right? But, like, at the end of the day, am I really just not going to eat any meat because a certain amount of animals are, are tortured or killed that way? Like, at that point, is it okay if I eat free-range chicken? Because they're just being killed naturally. Like, I, it, it's just a disconnect here. Senzeros, for however many gifts as that was the five gifties from Senzo Ross. Senzo Ross? I don't even know how to fucking say it. I think I think that's how you say it. I think I asked that last time. Dylan for the sub. Because the people who eat them wear them. It would mean a lot to me if you saw my last message. Christ, that's the first highlighted message I've seen in ten years. What was your last message? I want to say I've been watching your TikToks for a while now. A few months ago, I found you at a Twitch, and I want to say you inspired me so much. I hated the way I looked, and I was always so awkward, and your YouTube videos are so intriguing to me. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Dub in the chat for that. I'm glad I could help. Uh, Guo. I don't know how to say your name. Can you tell me how to say your damn name? Guo. I ask this every time for the 500 bets. She looks anemic. How does one look anemic? I don't think she looks anemic. And use them. So I'm wondering what you think about the queen. Now, she died in her 90s. Now, let's just assume at the beginning of her life, just like all of How us long y'all think you live in, though? I, like, I, like, I perceive, like, whenever I hear that somebody died in their 90s, I'm just like, Christ. Like, imagine being 70 years old and being told you're going to live another 20 years. 
<laughs> like, that's a long time. Mid, I feel like most people assume they're going to die in their 70s. Some people are, like, crazy, and they're like, yeah, I'm going to die when I'm 23. I'm like, okay, I don't think that's a good mentality in life. <laughs> I don't think that's a good mentality in life. I don't think you should, uh, I don't think you should be, you know, just openly being like, yeah, I'm going to die young. Like, I don't, I don't really get that. Um, Joe for the sub, rise for the fringe bets. Didn't read my dono. What was your dono? Hold up. I feel like most people assume, I, well, I mean, the average age people die is around 70, right? What is the average age that people live to? In the U.S., it's like 75. Please do five push-ups. I'm not doing five push-ups. Thank you for the bits. I don't even know how I would show five push-ups. And I'm barefoot. And then my chat gets weird and screenshots my toes. And I don't like that. Kicks for... <laughs> I love how I said that so casually. Regular for the sub. Kicks for the fucking 300 bits. My friends... My friends and my friends Jimmy and Ryan are one v one for ten dollars and they're playing like it's a thousand dollars. Dude, I I would play like it's a million dollars no matter how much money I'm wagering. You should play like it's like it's everything. She was innocent and she was just being fed these dead animals without really knowing what's going on. You know, I always say on this channel that we are all born vegan because being vegan is about the animals. It's not about food, it's not about health, it's about Making well, you weren't born vegan. No one was. It, unless your parent is vegan, you're not born vegan because the nutrients that your mom is getting go to you. And if they were eating a goddamn fucking McRib, you're getting that goddamn fucking McRib, right? You know, like that. This It's the same nutrients. You're not vegan. The declaration that you are not going to exploit animals anymore and really working hard towards that end. So the queen, like all of us, was just born innocent, was born vegan, and was fed dead animals by her parents. She opened her mouth, do, mouth dutifully, just like we all did. We didn't know the difference between carrots and peas and spaghetti and potatoes and a dead pig or a dead fish or a dead lamb or a dead baby cow, otherwise known as veal. But at some point... Nah, dude, have y'all ever had veal, though? I feel bad when I eat veal. I feel bad when I, okay, that's one where you got me that being, I, when I eat veal, when I eat veal, I'm like, oh, like, it's so good. <laughs> this is so fucked. It's so good, but you're like, damn, if you don't know what veal is, it's literally a baby cow. Like, you're eating a baby cow. It's so, they serve it at, like, high-end restaurants, bro, it's so good, though. It's so fucking tender, and you're just like, fuck. No, nah, I don't eat veal that much anymore. Like, I'll try not to order it. Combo for the sub. The Queen of England. But at the end of the day, it's already dead in the back, right? It's already dead in the back. If it's already dead in the back, I might as well fucking eat it. It's already dead. It's in the back. They didn't fucking kill it, right? They already killed that bitch a day ago. I already, It's already dead. While I'm sitting there, it's dead. While I'm supporting, yes, the killing of the animal, I'm not actually directly killing the animal. I'm eating something that's already been fucking dead. That's how my thought process works. E fry for the sub, gaming for the sub, goo wop for the forge bits. It's goo wop. I don't know how to say that. It, you still that still doesn't tell me how to say it. Can you say? Can you see Nick Crowley? Who is Nick Crowley? Gaming for the sub. And Dylan for the sub. Must have been aware about what's going on. I mean, she's not a stupid lady. She went all around the world, talked to so many people. Surely she must have been at some point intrigued by the word vegan. She must have driven, driven by in one of her limousines and seen, you know, a vegan store or a, a limousine. Yeah. In the last 20 fucking years of her life. Jesus Christ. This bitch, the queen Elizabeth was alive when they had a fucking horse and, car and chariot. What did she die at? 96. When was she born? She was born what? In like around World War One on something that said vegan she must have known what the word meant she must have known about the animal. unless you can get a whole ass country or state to be vegan you being vegan doesn't help shit that is true it, it, like if you have a if, if you had a large percentage of the country not being vegan that that would help but like even 10,000 people becoming vegan really isn't changing how many animals they're gonna kill right so why didn't she become vegan? 
that's what I'm intrigued about. Like all of these supposedly good people, what stops them? This is why on this channel I try to reach out to so many creators who have- Do you think she got shit for this? The queen dies and she makes a video about why she should have been vegan when she was alive? Millions of followers. But the people had to be pissed. Uh, the vast majority of them don't- Oh, did y'all see the Hassan clip? Oh, did y'all see the Hassan clip? I want to know your guys' thoughts on this. Hassan, Hassan smoking on that queen pack. He like makes fun of the fact that she died. It's like so fucked. Wait, hold up. Y'all haven't seen this? Yeah, queen. Oh. It's all yeah. Yeah. Because okay. our guns strong. are not... The He's latest is still strong. just breaking from Buckingham Palace. Okay. What's up with my queen? She's under medical supervention. She's gonna die, as you no, know. No, she's, she's gonna be fine. <laughs> no, she's definitely gonna die, but... Oh my god! She did die! No, she didn't! The royal family's official Twitter account said the queen died peacefully. At Balmoral this afternoon, the King and Queen concert will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. Woo! Let's go! Get Queen! Jesus pack watch! Christ. Woo! Oh, what the Smoking on the Queen pack! Here, have some. Daddy, daddy. Like, like, I'm not personally offended. But I know people got mad. Like, I can see how that would piss someone off. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not from the UK. It doesn't bother me. But, like, but like, people got pissed. And I see why. I mean, he's literally just like, oh, the queen's dead. Fuck that, bitch. <laughs> like, that's, that's so insane, bro. This was on live, too. Nah, have some. Queen, have some. Queen, have some. Have some of the queen pack. He's having some. And he's wearing a military uniform. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Mango for the sub. Godly for the four hundred best. Love your streams. It gives me something to do at work. What about work? <laughs> it gives me something to do at work. What about work? What about doing the work? Thank you for the fucking four hundred bits and all the fucking subs. Dub in the chat for that. Rise for the Forge bets. Have you ever played Rainbow Six? If not, are you ever going to? I played it before. It was eh. I, I was just so ass at it. Scar for the 300 bets. I was drinking G Fuel the first time. Turns out I consumed 500 milligrams of caffeine, which is above the safe amount. I'm now hyper as fuck, bro. What do I do? Did you read how much you're supposed to fucking take? What did you just start dry scooping it into your mouth? <laughs> there's, there's, there's fucking. <laughs> There's a lot of amounts that you're supposed to eat <laughs> or drink. You're not just supposed to just shovel that shit in. Isaiah for the three. Uh, what do you think of the Deji versus Mayweather fight? It got confirmed. You're fucking lying. Boxing legend Floyd Mayweather Jr. to fight YouTuber Deji in Dubai. He has won one match. The Logan Paul thing was a stunt. Mayweather's doing it again with fucking Deji. Bro. Why? Deji's like, what, one in four? One in three? Going against arguably one of the best boxers? What the fuck? Why? And he's even close... Like, Logan Paul had a slight chance because he was fucking 50 pounds heavier. 60 pounds heavier. Deji's going to be, like, the same weight, same height. He's going to get dropped. Nah, that's stupid. That's actually so dumb. He needs the money. I don't think Floyd, Weather need, uh, Floyd Mayweather needs the money. I don't think people realize how rich that motherfucker is. He's like a billionaire. Um, Godly for the 300 bets. F work, lol. Oh, my God. Listen to me. Yeah. Smoking that Deji pack. Oh my god. What would you guys do? Oh my god, dude. That would be so fucked. If, like, there was an influencer... I'm not saying Deji. I'm saying imagine if there was an influencer boxing match and somebody literally just died in the ring. That would actually be horrific. Yeah, I'm never doing a boxing match. <laughs> never doing a boxing match. Unless I got, like, 10 to 1 odds. You gotta throw me a lob. You either gotta throw me a throw where they fucking dome me. Like, get me against Jake Paul. I'll fucking get domed. Right? Just punch me right in the temple. I'll pass out for a week. Or... 
you get me against the 10 to 1 odds, right? I'm fucking destroying them. One of the two. If you put me against someone where I'm going to get brain damage, get me out of there. Iron for the 400 bets. Is it bad my parents treat me worse than they usually do when I'm sick? I don't really know. I I, I feel like, yes, that's bad. I, don't, I would say that's just them being inconsiderate. But I don't really know how bad they're treating you. Many for the 300 bets. Floyd never paid Logan. Did he really? That's he never out of my did. control. I can still try to reach them with the message. Now, if I could have talked to the Queen of England, I would have said to her, excuse me, um, but you can even hire a vegan chef. You can easily change. Uh, the Queen, I know you're dead, but like when you were alive, uh, you're, you were a fucking idiot. You could have just, you know, hired a vegan chef. You could have been an example for all of the United Kingdom. I know you're dead, but... Change what you're eating. And like what? Promote veganism. I think she's saying this because if, if the queen were to go vegan, that would have an impact on the country, right? But even then, not really. <laughs> even then, if the queen was vegan, would that have any impact, chat? Any major impact? No. No. Like, people look up to the queen, but it's not like... This isn't like... The fucking uh, 600s. We're not in the 7th century, right? We're not in, like, early fucking Roman era when, like, the, whatever the king did, everyone did. They have free will. Lucas for the 300 bets. Hi, love your vids. And Kixley for the 500 bets. Jimmy won. He celebrated like he won the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl. You put Super Bowl. To all of the people that you talk to. She could have forced more, uh, Boris to ban meat in the UK. I don't think she could. Does the queen have a lot of power in the UK? Like, or, or just the king or the queen? Like, what do they do now? Aren't they just, like, figureheads? I know they sign shit, but, like, the, the prime minister is really the guy that's actually doing everything. You know, you could wear a shirt that says this. Can you imagine the Queen of England going around wearing this shirt? No, I could never imagine the Queen of England ever wearing that. How cool would that be, right? But why didn't she do it? How cool would that be? Buy on my Shopify, teesprings.com slash that vegan teacher. Because there's a difference between polite and kind. Buy my vegan shirts. Buy my vegan mug. When you're polite, you say please and thank you and you sit up straight, hold the door open for people, wear your little white gloves and your hat and your little pearls. And you don't disturb anyone. Why is she shitting on the queen after the queen died? Like, doesn't this make... She's telling the queen what to do, but the queen's dead, right? Like, isn't this... Is it, like, she's, like, talking to the queen as if she was alive. Like, yeah, you should, you know, be vegan. But, like, she's not alive. Like, she's dead. Like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, you could have done this, like, three years ago. Like, you could have just fucking made the video three years ago. Like, why did you wait until she died to give advice on what the queen should be doing? It doesn't make sense. It's ducky for the sub. That's being... Why didn't you wear this shirt? It would have been so cool. Polite. But read if... my bits, Joe. Read my bits, Joe. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What are the bits? What are, my... what are the bits? You cheered 300. Jacko Bean, you didn't even send a message with it. Thank you for the 300 bits. I'm sorry I didn't see that. I didn't see that? It might have been around when the gifteds were. It's not the same thing as being kind. Being truly kind involves bravery. It involves... More views? Do you think she... Yeah, no, that's why. That's why. That's why. If, if, if it was... Because if she made this video three years ago, it would have gotten 500 views. She made it when she died, and it got 38,000. Digging down deep and doing what's right, even if you won't be popular, even if people won't like you. Just Do you think people watch your videos unironically? Chat, do you think people watch your videos unironically? Like, let's look at the comments. Don't listen to that vegan teacher, kids. Rest in peace, Queen Elizabeth. You are a great queen. If you think you're worthless, if you are think you are worthless, remember that that vegan teacher exists.
the winner for the disrespectful <laughs> award of 2022 goes to Katie. Come on, she's a human being like everybody else. Why does veganism have to come to this? May my country's queen rest in peace. Oh, none of these comments are supporting her. Dude, there has to be, like, dude, there has to be. How many views do you think, uh, like, how many out of these 38,000 views are coming from, like, genuine vegans? Like, genuine, like, they, they fuck with her videos. Like, they fuck with her videos. I would say, like, a thousand. I would say a 38th of those views. There are people. She has supporters. It's not just a blatant meme all around. One of her videos I saw only has good comments. Yeah, there has to be a few. Especially the ones that aren't, like, clickbait. Like, there, she has just regular teaching videos about being vegan and shit. Uh, so those probably do. Read my beat. Read my bits, you bitch. Jesus Christ. Why am I missing bits? Jack builds. You just sent it. Yeah, give me a minute. You sent it 30 seconds ago. Jack, for the 400 pits. Thank you. <laughs> I had a dream last night. I was your neighbor and we chilled at your house. What a very weird dream. You can imagine what it would be like to be the Have you guys ever dreamed of someone that doesn't exist? No. Because every person in your dream has to be somebody you've walked by. So if there's ever been that really weird character in your dream, you know them. You've seen them at least once. Cuz you can't make up a you can't make up a face that doesn't exist. So if there's somebody creepy in your dream, you know who they are. Deep down, you do. Maybe they're haunting you. Wake up. Wake up. Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy, you're not real. Is there a Jeremy in stream? Fuck, I should have looked up a name. There is a Jeremy. Jeremy, you're not real. Jam Jeremy, I wasn't planning this the whole time. There's one Jeremy in stream. You're not real. You're not real. Wake up. You're in the matrix. Choose the blue pill. Choose the blue pill. Choose the blue pill! Tim. Wait, or is it the red pill? Fuck, which one is it? Which one in the matrix? Which one is it? Is the blue or the red pill? You can just put yourself in their place. You can imagine the terror and the suffering of these innocent pigs who are just six months old, who are being gathered after a lifetime of hell. And do you think one of the Paul brothers will fight Andrew Tate? No, I think it's just scared. It would be very good though, Jerry or Jer Jer for the sub. Shoved into gas chambers the same way that the Nazis did to the Jews, and yes. I am comparing them the two the two of them because what happens did to the after a lifetime of hell and shoved into gas chambers the same She's way comparing the Holocaust and the killing of pigs. Okay. You're you're correct in that the killing of pigs is wrong, right? But relating the killing of a pig uh to the mass murder of millions of humans uh, is uh, generally disagreeable uh, by m most people would not agree with what you're saying. You you are right that the killing of pigs in gas chambers is wrong, but you're wrong in comparing the two. That the Nazis did to the Jews. They're not something that you should compare. And do they actually get gassed? I don't know. I mean, I'm just going to take her word for it. Call me for the five. Hey, John Bana Banaliza, would you marry into the royal family if you had the chance? Would I marry into the royal family? No. That would suck. And I have a girlfriend. And yes, I am comparing them the two, the two of them because what happens to the animals is in fact worse. Because instead of it being by the millions, it's by the billions. And instead of Oh, she just said she just said the Holocaust wasn't as bad as the mass murder of pigs. Oh, she just she just went there. Oh, she just went there. She really just went there. Dude, now like now you got no traction. Right. You, you could say you could say and I, I'm not saying you should you should say that killing pigs in that way is wrong. But you're a fucking dumbass for trying to compare and say that the Holocaust isn't as bad as killing pigs. Comparing them, the two, the two of them, because what happens to the animals is, in fact, worse, because instead of it being by the millions, it's by the billions. And instead of it ending, it continues. And it continues even through the actions of- We're killing pigs for food. We eat them. While it may be wrong in how we kill the pigs, uh, the Holocaust was the killing of humans, more conscious beings, people that we actually value, people that are of our own species. Um, that- what the fuck was I saying? God damn it. I was on a roll there too, chat. Wasn't I on a roll? I was on a roll. I was speaking I was speaking I was speaking facts. Now I don't remember what the fuck I was gonna say.
<laughs> I hate when I do that. I fucking hate when I do that. Oh, fuck. What was I saying? Dude, yes, you're right. But we don't... We The, the, the murder of people in the Holocaust, this is what I was going to say, was because they were Jewish. It was because... Uh, of killing them out of just racial or not racial intent religious intent just just not liking a group of people killing them for no reason we have a reason to kill pigs while it's wrong that we're killing them in the way that we're killing them we're doing it for a reason to eat them for food we're not just killing them and then throwing them in a ditch like they did to the people in the holocaust the fact that you're saying the Holocaust is not as bad is fucking idiotic. Jack for the 300 bets. I also live in New Jersey. It's the best state and is underrated. I love New Jersey. I don't know if I would say it's the best state. Of people it like is underrated, though. The Queen. All right, did I finish that, though? Was that good? Did I complete the thought? I was spitting facts there that whole way through, right? Other than that lull point where I forgot what I was going to say. I was speaking. I was, I was, I was, I, <laughs> fucking shit. Fuck, I'm having a stroke. I was speaking facts. I indeed ate that shit, as some people would say. Queen of England, can you imagine if we'd had her on our side? If three times a day she would have said, hey, it's breakfast. I don't want any cow's milk. I'll take the soy milk or the oat milk. I'll take the soy milk or the oat milk. Hey, eat tofu. Even though it tastes like poop, at least you're not eating chicken. Oh, can you imagine? Lunchtime. Is <laughs> hey, even though you're going to hate your life because you never eat anything of sustenance, <laughs> being vegan is great. Look at my meal. Shows fucking slop of kale, cauliflower, and, like, churned fucking carrots. Instead of having the chicken... I even have my tofu butter. <laughs> I hate my life. <laughs> murdered animal chickens are abused on this planet more than any other animals and you never see them being abused because they're in these giant facilities hidden from our view murdered at just seven weeks old imagine if the queen of england had said jack builds is uh predicting that vegan teacher's death i would not do that that's a bad road to go down Two now things one if the vegan teacher dies TMMR, just know I have something to do it. Okay, two, that's you New literally admitting to saying NJ. you might kill the vegan teacher. Long Island specifically. Maybe you don't want to, maybe you don't want to say that. Maybe you don't want to say that. What's your opinion on Edgar becoming a racist mean? If you don't want to answer that, what if someone's vegan and eats their hangnails? Who is Edgar? Becoming a racist? If you want to answer that, what if someone's vegan? Edgar D's nuts in your mouth? That doesn't even make sense. Who is Edgar? It's a meme. I have never even seen that. Becoming racist? I don't know. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I this is this is a boomer Joe moment, even though I'm 20. This is a fucking boomer Joe moment. I have no idea what you're talking about. Literally no no idea. Uh, what if somebody's vegan and they eat their hangnails? Why would they do that? Did you show your headset dent? I didn't. Did somebody redeem headset dent? Fuck! Oh my god. Damn. Damn, I got that full head dent. Stent my skull. Stent my skull. Uh, Jack for the fringe bits. Uh, if you find a large chef's knife in a random lake outside of the Long Island, do not contact the cops. Thank you in, in advance. <laughs> what the fuck? Tonbull. Tonbull for the 5,000 bits. Bro! Tonbull for the 5,000 bits! Jesus Christ! That is so many fucking bits. Dub in the chat. Dub in the fucking chat. Thank you, Tonbull. Tonebull, Tonbull. You're a fucking beast. You are a fucking beast. You are a fucking beast. Jack Builds is basically saying, if you find a knife in the lake, don't be a hero. <laughs> me, when I'm a TSA agent, and one of the people going through the security lines tells me not to be a hero. <laughs> don't scan the bag. Don't be a hero. 
no chicken for me. Tofu, lentils, beans, chickpeas, rice, anything else. I want to be nice. I don't want to just be polite. Imagine if she had done that. God, it'd be so cool. Imagine if at dinner time she didn't say no roast. She would say no roast beef for me. I will be having anything else on the menu how about you make me a vegan pizza me i will be having anything with no roast she would say no. is that dog barking in the fucking oh my god is that dog barking on the on the fucking video oh my god bro i thought that was my fucking dog bro i was like what the fuck I, <laughs> that shit sounded like it was in my head bro oh my god be polite Imagine if she had done that. Dude, did y'all, did any of y'all wearing headphones think that was your dog? Bro, I thought that was my fucking dog. I'm sitting there, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, my dog doesn't bark. I don't want to just be polite. Imagine Jesus Christ, y'all saw me, I was like, what the fuck? I'm mad. God, it's so cool. Dude, I kept pausing it, and I was just being, I was like, oh, it stopped. And if at dinner time, she didn't Yeah, say there it is. No roast, she would say, no roast beef for me. I will be having anything else on the menu. How about you make me a vegan pizza with vegan cheese and vegan meat? Maybe beyond meat. I thought it was my dog. I don't even have a dog. What are you talking about? There's a dog barking in the back of her video. Impossible meat. You know, anything else. That's her dog trying to escape so it can eat meat because her dog is also vegan. It's Ducky for the 1579. Love the vids. I've COVID I had COVID a month ago and your vids and streams helped me feel happier. I'm glad I could help, and I'm sorry that you got COVID. D. D. Davidicus for the Thringe Bets. I used the microwave once and put my bean burrito in again because it wasn't ready. Never again. Everyone was pissed. So you put your bean burrito in a microwave and it exploded. Can you just imagine if the Queen of England... I put metal in a microwave once. I also put uh, a marshmallow in a microwave once. Two bad things. Never put a jumbo marshmallow in a microwave. Never put a jumbo marshmallow in a microwave. It doesn't cause lightning. It will expand. Like, it'll get fucking huge. England, everywhere she went, on her queen mobile, it said, let's be vegan from now on. That'd be cool. Now, let's Joe, can you please check your, the Discord, the message on Discord? It's a reaction to your most recent TikTok. I swear to God, it's going to be so fucking cringe. It's going to be so fucking cringe. Can you check your DMs? You didn't even DM me, bro. You didn't DM me, Jake. What the fuck? What the fuck? You just sent me my own fucking Fuck video. video. You sent me my own video. Read your message. Oh my god, what the f- I'm not reading your me you sent me an essay about my fucking TikTok. Joe, I think the practical limitations, assume you need a 5-3 watch, which is not many, blah blah blah, hours. What is this? Use text to speech? Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Should I even show the TikTok? Now I have to fucking show the TikTok for you guys to understand what's fucking happening. Jake, I'm never doing this again. This is so fucking stupid. Watch my TikTok. Seen a lot of people posting these I'll be the last person to touch this rock type videos. <laughs> Not if I have anything to fucking say about it. Oh, you dropped the rock in the ocean? <laughs> Easy. I'll find that bitch. Oh, you dropped it in the Grand Canyon? <laughs> like I give a fuck. Jake says... But Joe, think of the practical limitations. Assume you need to find three rocks, which is not many. One in the oceans, one in the Grand Canyon, and one in the Sahara Desert. Assuming you equipped extraordinarily well and are a master rock climber slash scuba diver and extremely prof pro proficient, proficient, you spelled that wrong, in the art of exploration, you always have an amazing sense of direction and are extremely fast, which are genetic phenomena that, do that doesn't need food water sleep or oxygen and can survive temperature and fall 
then you would have to search approximately 50% of the ocean before you found it. Where are you getting that number from? Assuming you could see one square mile at a time. Dude, what are you acting like I'm Aquaman? Swimming 500 miles an hour, you need a trap. Jake, this is the dumbest shit in the world. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Why are people saying fucking play Pico Park? Shove a fist up your ass. I'm not playing fucking Pico Park. I played that shit yesterday. Piss me off. Why are people saying Pico Park? It's a fucking react day. Jake goes on for another fucking 10 hours saying, uh, you have to do the same in the Sahara Desert. It would have 14,000 hours to your search. You're just coming up with numbers, man. God damn it. If you see this, scratch your nose. Oh, I fuck. My god. Oh my god. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Lovely for the fucking three gifted or two gifted. Uh, Sateki for the sub. Jack for the 300 bits. What's the best ice cream play flavor? Uh, is chocolate. Uh, easily chocolate. Uh, and another 300 bits from Jack to Big Boy for the sub. I'll give the the dog five star Wagyu. What? Da Big for the sub. Uh. Damn. Let's look at the people who are still alive right now. People like Gordon Ramsay. Imagine if he honestly said he had a whole change of personality, which will never happen, by the way, because... The yeah, if Gordon Ramsay uh, became vegan, everybody would stop eating at his restaurants. He's a total creep, but let's just say... She just said Gordon Ramsay's a creep because he's not vegan. ...by the way, because the guy is a total creep, but let's just say... People like him, all the chefs of the world said, we are tired of abusing animals. We are tired of paying into the system. We are tired of not being brave. We want to be brave and speak out even if you don't- L Joe, L take. L take. How is that an L take? If Gordon Ramsay became vegan and all of his food became vegan at his restaurants, people would stop eating there. That's a fact. Gordon Ramsay in most of his restaurants are known for his steak dishes. If Gordon Ramsay removed his capability to eat and buy aged, well done, like well made steak, people he, people would stop eating there. Okay, that's an L take. That's an L take. I, how is that a fucking L take? Don't like us that much. We want to do the right thing. We want to leave a legacy of kindness on this planet. So from now on, all of them would wear on their pa on their lapels here, on their 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 jackets or on their their chef coats. You know, vegan from now on. I'm a vegan chef. Can you imagine? How much do you think people would still eat at his restaurant if he became vegan? Yes, but less. He would lose business. People would still eat there, but not often. He would lose business. He would at lose a fraction of his company in terms of profits. How cool would that be? Beef Wellington, steak. Like, wait, let me actually look up. What are Gordon Ramsay's most famous dishes? Beef Wellington, pasta and lobster, lobster risotto, homemade rigatoni gnocchi or gnocchis, grilled chicken under a brick, crusted lamb, chicken parmesan, and a cast iron ribeye steak. How many of those are fucking vegan? He would eliminate all of them. He would lose everybody. Imagine if every teacher. Maybe in the world, one. You could theoretically have one of those vegan. When their students asked them what you ate for dinner, they said, vegan food, of course. Imagine if every police officer who ever went into a donut shop said, what are your vegan options? What kind of vegan donuts do you have here? You see, it's possible. It's totally possible. What if every firefighter... <laughs> Do you think her utopia is just everybody being vegan? She's like explaining her dream world. Mini for the 300 bits. I had no, I, I had no idea you had a TikTok. <laughs> There's no shot you had no idea I had a TikTok. That's where I started on social media. I still do it. It's my biggest platform. Love for the 300 bits. I mean, I'm getting bigger on Twitch and YouTube, but like... I'm like fr a fractional size here compared to there. Love for the 300 bets. Would you rather drink toes, toe pus, or do a 360 lick of an airport toilet bowl? Stop. Okay. I'll answer this one would you rather. Not doing any more would you rathers today. Not doing any more would you rathers that are to this extent. Would I rather lick a 360 or lick in a 360 degree pattern of the entire toilet bowl or 
drink toe pus. I would rather lick a toilet bowl. Jack for the 300 vets. It only stays on my tongue. Would you rather be vegan or only eat meat? Uh, I don't know. Both. Uh, would I rather only eat meat or be vegan? I would probably rather actually be vegan. Da big for the sub. Because only eating meat would suck. You would lose energy. Excuse me. Went around. And when they were teaching children... You would lose more energy if you only ate meat. Like, even that, even Liver King, still, he still eats carbs. If I could only eat proteins, like, you would theoretically die. Uh, unless you were eating, like, balancing somehow the fish and the steak, but then there's not that many carbs. Mini for the Thringe Vets. I was capping about the TikTok. Yeah, I assume so. Fires and how to put the fire out, and they went with their uniforms everywhere. Said to the students and the teachers in the classrooms, you know what? When there's a fire, I don't run to the fridge to rescue the vegetables. And the fruits because plants don't have feelings plants are not alive they're not sentient we could argue what if they are what if they are what if we're so scientifically what if we're not there scientifically yet and mushrooms have a consciousness they do communicate you can listen to them communicate if you hook up certain machines plants are barely sentient yes okay if they're alive or not but they're not sentient they bro's talking about firefighters saying they don't go to save vegetables no shit because we eat them. Feel. Plants don't feel pain. They don't have a brain. Uh, cabbage cry when you cut them. <laughs> I don't know if you knew that or not. They don't have a nervous system, so it's okay to bite into them. You have a heart. You know where to start. Wow. Spitting right bars. You can be vegan from now on. Imagine if all the firefighters taught people that said, we save the animals in your homes. We save the people. We well, yeah, because I don't normally keep uh, animals that I plan on eating in my house. <laughs> uh, yeah, because uh, I normally don't, uh, you know, eat. I normally don't plan on, uh, you know, keeping my cow that I'm going to fucking slaughter and then eat in my house. Save the celery. You know, imagine if every business person, when it was time to go out and eat, they said... Okay, it's time to eat. Which vegan restaurant do you want to go to today? Imagine if that was the default. To do good. To be kind. To truly be kind. Not just polite, but actually kind. What a world it would be. What a shame that the Queen of England didn't become vegan in her later years. She could have had such a domino effect. What about the new king, Charles? Apparently he cares about the environment. He... That way she said Charles? You think she likes Charles? You think she likes King Charles? Y'all see that? Later years. She could have had such a domino effect. What about the new king? Charles. Apparently he cares yeah, about Yeah, bro. She's into Charles. A domino effect. What about the new king? Charles. Mm, Charles. <laughs> mm, Charles. Mm, the king Charles. Let me look him up. Mm, Charles. King Charles the Third. Mm. Mm. Mm, Charles. Mm, Charles. <laughs> He's spiffy. He also does have hair. He is very old and does have hair. That is an unlikely occurrence. Is it just me or does every old white guy have this exact face look? Like, I'm. this is going to be me when I'm old. You have, like, a long-ass nose, like, sag. You, you, like, everything sags. It, like, droops. It's like, ev like every grandpa I have ever seen has this exact... Like, you could clip from here down. Like, like... <laughs> like, this could be half of y'all's grandparents. <laughs> like, until I go like this, you're like... Oh, is that my grandpa? <laughs> oh, is that my grandpa? Oh, that my... I actually don't know. I. It could be. Maybe, maybe a few years ago. Apparently he cares about the environment. Does he really? Because the best thing you can do for the environment individually, three times a day, is to eat vegan foods, to not contribute to the suffering and the pollution. But most people won't do that. Because most people are selfish narcissists. Narcissists. But are you? What will your legacy be 
I don't like how she stares in the camera. Does it creep you guys out? Like, imagine if I only spoke, like, directly. Like, just look, like, I don't know. How will they remember? Like, in, in, in YouTube videos, it's different, right? Like, YouTube videos, it's like, oh, if you're looking at the camera, it's not that bad. It's like Twitch, when it's live, it's more weird. But even with YouTube videos, like, bro, she just doesn't break eye contact. Like, look away. For you after you die. Now, I have no illusions about how I'm going I to I think it, it shows you're more serious. Like, whenever, whenever you watch a more serious YouTuber that's trying to make a point or say something, they'll look at the camera. Does Moist Critical, does Charlie look at the camera? I'm trying to remember. Penguins. Does he look at the camera? He does? He looks at the camera the whole time? No, he doesn't. It's not uncomfortable when he does it, though, is it? You think YouTube gaming is because disrespect? Okay, no, this is a react one. I gotta find one where he's like... Alright, let's just get this out of the way, rip the band-aid off. And... No, he doesn't. He does look away. He look. He he's facing the camera, but look, he's not making. It's not direct eye contact all the time. It's like every few seconds. It'll be like a glance. That's not. Does that that doesn't make me uncomfortable? This makes me uncomfortable, and it's just straight up. Sure, I have my Wikipedia. Page. I in. I do it for ads though. Ads is when you look at the camera. Ads in if you're being serious, you look at the camera. That's in recorded YouTube videos though. They started and they wrote a bunch of facts on there. But you know, sometimes people get facts a little bit wrong. I don't know. I haven't checked it in about a year. But many people will lie and say that I ate animals and that I was a phony. Because people splice together all kinds of videos like well, that. Well, you did eat animals at one point. Like, you haven't been vegan your entire life. But those who will really research, who really want to know, who really care about the truth, will know that I tried as hard as I could for the last many decades of my life or however long I live to encourage people to be as vegan as possible how how old is she I ask this every I time it's so hard to undo the damage I'm trying don't you want to try no don't you no try? I, I mean it would be nice like I don't I don't think there will ever be a world where everybody's vegan I I think she is seeing a, a utopia that is uh, impossible she's seeing a utopia no one will ever be the whole world is not going to be vegan right i do think that animals should be killed differently i don't think they should be killed how they are killed i think it's cruel in some ways or, or how they're raised but if they fix eat like eat like that's like no one will ever be vegan the, the best it will be is they raise the animals naturally and kill them naturally instead of in factories. That's the only hope that you could have. If your hope is that the entire world will be vegan, you're misled. It's never going to happen. Try. Don't be like the Queen of England who ate dead animal after dead animal, went through her entire body, and then was shit out into the toilet. Thousands of them. Is she talking about uh, the Thousands Queen taking a of shit? Thousands animals. Treated that way by the Queen of England. Because of what? Because of stupidity? No. Because the Queen of England... Cam just said she looks like she follows black people in the store to make sure they're not stealing. Oh my god. <laughs> ...wasn't actually brave or kind. I don't know. Would she do that? I don't think she looks like she would do that. I don't know. I don't know what somebody looks like that they would do that. He was merely polite. Oh, like, oh, like, I, I know I'm, I'm envisioning it. Like she walks in and like she walks out with her groceries. And then right when they walk in, she walks in and then they're like, what the fuck? She's like, oh, I'm, I'm just checking. Or like that annoying worker at a Walmart that just like follows your friend group around. You know what I mean? Like the one that's just like they think you're a mischievous group so they won't leave you alone. Like that look. She walk off camera. Is this the end of the video? Is this supposed to be okay. some dramatic end? Do you think she planned this out? England wasn't actually brave or kind. You think she planned she it? You think she planned this outro? <laughs> Wait, hold up. Hold up. 
Yo, she really thought she ate that, though. I fucking hate saying that. But wait. Wouldn't it be great if if that vegan teacher wait fuck wouldn't it be great if the queen was vegan when she wasn't dead? <laughs> like she fucking killed that shit. Like yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. I fucking ate that. <laughs> like, what the fuck, bro? This is an old one. This is an old one. I don't know if we're going to watch this whole fucking one. We'll start it. She starts shitting on Darman for not being vegan. Uh, Thanks for you being Joe. Excited for the Dar, dude. Aaron for the 5 bets. Yeah, it's this one. Then we got a Darman video. You know, we're well, gonna this is about Darman, too watching a video by Darman and apparently- Yo, somebody clipped that. Somebody clipped that. Yo, I need to see this. Wait, there's my face. I was waiting for that shit. I was in an anticipation. Mr. Double for the sub. Bro, that was fucking hilarious. All right. Apparently, it has, it talks about vegan. Hello, students. Welcome back to class. Check it out. We're going to be watching a video by Darman. And apparently, it has, it talks about vegan. How has her editing got worse? Like, in this, she's, like, side by side. Anybody remember her video on me, like, three months ago? She fucking filmed my TikTok on an iPhone. Like, she, like, filmed my video on her phone, but now she has, like, an overlay. Like, what? Like, this was before. Hot dogs. My name is E-Fry. It's Jeffrey without the J. So, Efri. So excited, let's launch. So oh, I know someone named Efri. Oh, uh, Oj for the sub and Akit for the sub. Okay, let's get you a hot dog. <laughs> oh, boss oh, kicks out a job applicant, he lives to regret it. We haven't seen this one. Wait, he didn't see a three dollar hot dog. Bit of a scam, bit of a bit of a scam, if you ask me. Bit of a scam, if you ask me. Should we move our face? Where should I move my face? Should I be down here for this bitch? Because, like, I'm blocking her. Should I be down here? Or should I be in the middle? Should I be the intermediary? I feel like I should be down. I should be down here for this. Because now we're not blocking anything. I don't want to block anything. Two and one, that vegan and Darman video. Vegan! Oh, no. Maybe I'll agree with her, because I usually shit on Darman videos. So I'm so excited. Let's launch. I'm so hungry. Okay. Let's get you a hot dog. <laughs> Why are they, like, acting like they've been in the Sahara for, like, weeks? Dad, I'm so hungry. <laughs> All right, son. Let's get you a hot dog. A hot dog? Hey, Ivan. Wait, he didn't say vegan. Oh, no. He didn't say vegan hot dog. That's not good. I have to put an X on the paper. Errol. Oh, dude, I forgot. Dude, you remember when she used to grade people? This is back when she would fucking grade people. She used to be like, I'm going to have to give you an, an F on that assignment, Joe. Like, what the fuck? Did you get hot dog? Did you just say Go left corner? Should I go left corner? No, I never go left corner on reactions. Can't go left, bro. Can't go left corner. Left corner is weird. Left or right corner chat for reactions. This is only this video. We're going back top right after this. I like being right. 
I like on. I like being on the right. Vegan hot dog, or did he? Oh God damn it! It's full fucking split. Now we got to do a poll. I fucking hate this. Left or right? I put left or right. Just vote. You know what I mean. Left or right? Left, left or right? A kit for the sub. Aaron for the five hundred bets. Uh, I don't think I missed any other ones. All right, most people are voting right. Say hot dog. I didn't hear the word vegan. Let's go back. Press F11. I hate how you have that fucking tab up. No. It's literally pointlessly there. Guys, is this just a mistake? Did you guys fool me? Did you guys try? Yeah, it's more of a sham that it's a $3 hot dog than the fact that it's um not vegan. Uh, what's a good price for a hot dog, chat? I'd say two. I'd say I'm at max I'm paying two. At a, at a hot dog stand. At, at a restaurant, I'm paying a lot more, right? But that's different. Well, at a restaurant, I'm really not going to get a fucking dog. But, like, if I'm in, if you're in New York, it's dollar dog. Dollar dog. Trick me. Hey, Ivan. Harold. Did you get us a hot dog? Oh. I, never mind. I don't, I don't have enough. But I really want a hot dog. Uh, I'm so sorry, son. After I get a job, I promise you will never be hungry again. Okay? Okay. Hey, you know what? Don't worry about it. This one's on me. No! Don't give children hot dogs. They are made from- His family's poor! It's a good- The guy's being good for giving him the hot dog. No, don't give him a hot dog. It's not vegan. Maybe give him an alternate free option for possibly a cauliflower dog. You could mash celery into the shape of a hot dog and give it to him. Why not give him a pickle dog? With a potato roll. That might be good. I'm a cycle of violence. Hot dogs contain dead animals. No, no, no. You must feed them. Why love one but eat the other? Because dogs are companions. What a dumb fucking card. Dogs were bred to be human companions. They were not bred for the consumption of them. Dogs were bred to be side by side with humans. We don't eat them. Historically, there are some people that do in the world eat them today and have in the past, but historically dogs were bred to be working and with the family. Sometimes they used to sleep outside, then they moved inside. Pigs are food. You don't really have pig pets often. That's why. Vegan hot dogs, not dead animals. Did you read my other bits about the private jet and the yacht? Sorry if you did. My screen froze. Oh, I didn't see that. What's your dream car? A uh, realistic dream car? Uh, probably like a Stingray Corvette. Unrealistic dream car, meaning one that's like, I'm not going to get it. Uh, Bugatti. Uh, would you rather have a private jet, a private plane, or a yacht? Uh, plane. It's wrong to hurt animals. Actually, no, yacht. Don't hurt them. Wait, no, here's the thing. If I have a pri- If I- Do I have to pay for anything? If both are free and using both are free, having a private yacht is better than having a private jet. Actually, I don't know. Fuck, dude, I don't know. I don't know. I really have no idea. I hate when people ask me that question because I never know. That's like one of the only would you rathers that it's like, both are great. Oh no, this is starting to make me really sad. No. No, you, you got it last time. The kid should starve instead of eating the hot dog because it's not vegan. That's what she's saying. The business has been tough for you and I can't ask you to do it again. <laughs> it's okay. I might not have a lot of customers, but... It's better than being hungry. Besides, I've always believed that the kindness you put out into the world... This is the foreshadowing point. This is already... I'm calling it right now. That's the foreshadow. That's the foreshadow right there. How much you want to bet? That's it. As a way of coming back to you. Yes, but don't put out something into the world that is a dead animal. How is that being kind? Doesn't she kind of look like she's going to cry? Are you not considering the animals and how they feel? They don't want to be put into gas chambers. Pigs are put into gas chambers. It's already they dead. Are... The hot dog's right there. They're murdered. And, and then you show this dumbass picture again. Like, this is just... Whoever made this is a fucking idiot. Like, whoever made this didn't think once about, like, oh, maybe dogs are companions. Like, this is actually so stupid. Why well, love one but eat the other? Because that's not a companion. Six months old. That's not right. Do you know what? They did that to the Jews. 
in World War II. Does she compare the Holocaust with the death of animals in every video? Like, is this is this a reoccurring thing? They pretended that they were taking them into showers, and then they murdered them by turning on the gas. Yeah, and for no reason, too. They did it to humans and for no reason. Uh, it's a pig, and you're killing them to eat it. No, this is all wrong. Children should never be eating these kinds of things, ever. It's not good for them. Veganism. It's good for oh the animals. How many goddamn cards? Be vegan for the animals, the environment, and human health. Recipes, Bosch.tv. Animals, the environment, and human health. If you need recipes, you just go to Bosch. Some plants uh, produce, I think, more. Like, like, it's not just animals that are producing methane. I mean, animals produce methane. But it's not just animals that are producing, like, certain things into the environment that would cause to global warming. A lot of plants do that as well. People don't know that. Dot TV. Gabe for the sub, Fridges for the sub. Me. That's not right. I thought this was going to be about vegan hot dogs. No! Oh, that's a quarter pounder, too. That's a nice dog. That's a nice dog. That's a nice New York dog. No! That animals is. don't belong that in is. a bun! All their bun Somebody said, fuck you. Fuck you, too. Oh, like, what? You just come to my stream? What? What? Vegans need pills to survive. Oh, you're saying fuck you to the vegan teacher. Oh, Flex. Did somebody redeem Flex? Oh, my God. It was chest, tricep, shoulders today. That picture is also stupid. Dogs are always cute. Adult pigs are horrendous. Facts. <laughs> so you're saying only kill the ugly animals. <laughs> so if they're ugly, kill them. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Body parts cut up. This is so wrong. Darman, I have to give you another X now. I don't see any mention of vegan foods here at all. It's a hot dog stand. A hot dog without saying vegan over it's and a over. hot dog stand. I are there even vegan hot dog stands? Does that is that a thing? Over and over. Hey, it's okay, take it. No, don't take it! No! <laughs> oh my She's like forcing this reaction. You know she's already watched this whole video too. I'm gonna give you a little tip from from the React Bart man. Don't watch the video that you're reacting to. Watching it the first time is almost always better than watching it the second time, right? So I I I can tell that you've seen this because you're faking every single reaction. You're you're just redoing every reaction that you had the first time. It's not authentic, right? My God, what is the dad doing? No! Don't take the, the quarter pounder hot dog, even though your family's starving and you're probably not going to have food for a few days. Don't take the, don't take it. Don't feed your kid dead body parts. The poor innocent. The point of the goddamn video is the dad's poor and he's going to make money at the end of the fucking video and then he's going to pay the hot dog guy. I know how every fucking Darman, I've never seen this Darman video and, and you can tell that's how it's going to work. The guy's going to go get fired. It's not going to fucking matter because he's going to become big mogul millionaire and then he's going to give the hot dog guy money for giving him a free hot dog. You know that's what's going to happen. Thanks. Do you know what happens to them? Their mothers and fathers are raped. They take the male pigs and they touch them inappropriately. They touch their penises. They rub them. They take out the sperm. Pigs. Do you know what happens to them? Their mothers and fathers are raped. They take the male pigs and they touch them inappropriately. They touch their penises. They rub them. They take out the sperm. Then they force it into the females. It's not right. It's bestiality. It's sexual abuse. It's bestiality. It's an animal having sex with another animal. I don't think the people that are breeding pig pigs are fucking them, uh, if that's what you're implying. I don't think uh, I don't think they are fucking the pigs. Uh, I think they're getting them to have sex. Uh, dog breeders do the same thing. They just kind of hold them while they do it. Or, I mean, they might be artificially inseminating pigs. I don't know what they're doing. But I know with dogs and a lot of animals, they kind of just stand there. 
It's rape. We don't do that to children and we should not do that to animals. They can never give consent to that. How can you be okay with this cycle of violence? I'm giving you Somebody just said, Joe, you like fucking pigs. Uh, no, and half of my chat two days ago was talking about fucking a coconut. So don't come at me when my chat literally openly said they would fuck a coconut. Yep, somebody just said it right there. Yep, 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 yep. Keegs, too, just said I'd fuck a coconut. Yep. More X's for this. Yep, because all of you are coco-sexual, apparently, which isn't even a thing. Are coconuts alive? No. This is absolutely wrong. We shouldn't be giving this to children. And also, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Oh my god, dude, it just doesn't load. These things, this shit's so annoying. Dude, is it just me? Mods, have, has your fucking shit not been loading chats? I was trying to show two inches chat. It just doesn't load anymore. Like, it's just fucking weird. It's for my mods. It isn't just me? Okay. Yeah, it's like it doesn't load people's messages. It has stated clearly that anyone can be vegan at any stage. I was trying to show two inches message. Element. So why would you give that to a child when there are so many other choices? Thank you so much, Ivan. Can't tell you how much I appreciate it. When the fuck did he get the chef hat? Oh, he had that shit on the whole time? Buddy, you're making hot dogs on the side of the road. Oh, you don't take you don't thank somebody for giving your child dead body parts. What the fuck is wrong with you? Do you think she would starve over eating an animal? Like if she was on a boat with like a, a chicken and it was like like okay, let's say this. Let's say this. She's on the boat with a chicken. And she knows that if she eats the chicken, she'll live long enough to to survive and and get off like the stranded boat. But if she doesn't eat the chicken, she'll die. Is she eating the chicken? Yes. Yes. I know she would say no, but in the, in the scenario that I am describing, I think she would eat. If she somehow knew she would live long enough to get saved, I think she would eat the chicken. It's one chicken she already knows that, that so many have died. She, she'll think in her head, well, I've already saved enough. Let me just eat a chicken, right? Because if, if it's do or die, you're eating the fucking chicken. Okay? So, so stop saying, oh, don't take the chicken if the fuck kid's fucking starving. I mean, he's not necessarily starving, but the dad's saying, like, they're prescribing the scenario where they don't have food. Giovanni's, and once I get the job, I promise I'll pay you back soon. Giovanni's? Woohoo, that's the most popular place in town. Good luck. And hey, if you want, Lupin can just wait here until your interview's over. You're the best. I'll never forget this. No, you're not the best. You are the worst. Darman, also, why are you making these kinds of videos, Darman? To, pro to promote kindness to others. To promote kindness to others. How old are you? Somebody redeemed Daisy. I'm 20 years old. How? Has somebody redeemed Daisy Showcase? Jesus fucking Christ, bro. Uh, I gotta go get my dog. I gotta go get my dog. Hold up. Hold up. I don't even know, if, I don't even know where my dog is. Hold up. Uh, all right. Count me down 30 seconds. We're here. We're here. Come here. Sit.
I know, I have the cutest dog in the world. You don't need to tell me, I know. He's supposed to be a good guy. Every time, Darman, in the future, that you show any animal products, you must say it's wrong. It Is my dog vegan? No, my dog just, that, those treats had literally had meat in them. She'll eat the chicken in extreme situations your brain takes over, yeah. Filth for the 500 bets. Uh, imagine if that vegan teacher streamed, everybody would tell her to get on with the video. <laughs> Unpause! You're pausing too much! Um, that picture- Oh wait, no, I already read that. Look for the picture bets. To be in that context, and every time you show food, it must be vegan food. You must promote veganism all the time. Again, veganism is the best thing for the animals. No one gets hurt. For the environment, it's best because it reduces our eco-footprint. And even for human health. All schools where children go should be vegan. There should be no dead animals being brought into there and put into the fridges. All hospitals should be vegan. Why are we bringing dead animals into hospitals? A, a hospital is supposed to play, be a place where we heal people with- Yeah, and you can heal people with dead animals. Healthy, veggies, fruits, nuts, seeds, lentils, vegan foods, pasta, rice. I'll bring it back, okay? Okay, good luck. <laughs> you need meat to survive, right? No, not with the use of supplements anymore. Like, if, if you were to be vegan in, like, the 1300s, you would die, right? But now, no. You could be vegan with supplements. Or if you're very now strict with what you're eating. Now he's going to teach the child how to fry up hot dogs and hang out with him? This man paid for murder. He's making money by selling... Don't her crayons... Aren't her crayons not vegan? Or her fucking expo markers. Don't they have, like, pig bone in them or some shit? The ones that she literally is holding right now. Suffering. Uh. Excuse me. of animals. Do you know what happens in these industries? When it comes to the baby cows and the dairy industry, they take the baby boy cows away from their mothers when they're just little because... Oh my god, okay, you fucking talk longer than I do. Jesus Christ, she holds up that goddamn picture be again. able to give milk, and they slit their throats! It's wrong! She's crying. Do you know what they do in the egg, egg industries? They put the babies on these little conveyor belts, these little baby chicks, and they pick them up and they check. And if they are boys, they put them on another conveyor belt and they fall down, down, down into slicing blades and they cut them up into a million pieces. It is wrong. We must not hurt animals. Animals are here with us on the planet. <laughs> Wow! 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 <laughs> Cam's going. Cam's fucking spamming. Wow! Wow! That was funny. That was a funny spam. Oh, oh, but Cam can spam because that shit was funny as fuck. That shit was hilarious. That shit was fucking hilarious. Wow! <laughs> No, okay, yeah, it's wrong. It's wrong that they do that. Like, I'm not, I'm not supporting the fact that they do that. But it's just like, they're doing it for the reasoning that they're, they're raising chickens that are going to lay eggs. Men don't lay eggs, so they just kill them because it's going to cost them money as a business, um, to put them somewhere and raise them where it, it doesn't even matter. Like, uh, why don't we do this? Why don't we do this? Those chickens that they would kill will give all of them to you. <laughs> All fucking 100,000 chickens every other day will give to you, right? And then, and then you, and then you will take care of them. Pros, why are you saying Cam join call? What the fuck? What are you guys even talking about? Joel up for the sub, Annabelle for the fringe bets. She makes me want to fuck up a cow, bro. Jack for the fringe bets. Look at my bets about the dog and bets, please. Thank you. Also, you think the vegan teacher is 100% real. What? Yes. Bits about the cow. Dogs taste better than pigs, though. By the way, I'm joking. I still want to try a dog. I would never eat a dog. I would never actually try a dog. Because uh, I don't think... I, I genuinely do think dogs are companions. I don't think you should eat dogs. Not for us. <sighs> Tell Darman to be vegan from now on. 
Play Darman. Tell Darman to be vegan now. Why love one, but eat the other? That's some postcard she found at a fucking Walgreens. Darman, if you see this, and I hope that everybody tags you, and that you see this, you- I need to see the comments. I'm speechless watching this lady compare historically disadvantaged groups to animals. Yes, literally. I never thought a grown woman would be so emotional over a damn hot dog. <laughs> Starving person. Goes to buy food for his hungry son. Vegan teacher. I took that personally. Oh, these are all pretty... Some of these comments are new, too. You don't have to be vegan to be a good person. I would agree with that. Like, it, like I'm not supporting the way that they're killing these animals. It's just like, what are they going to do? I like the yeah, maybe they could do that, but like the amount of food that Americans consume, the amount of chickens that Americans consume, half of the chance of them being a male, like they're just gonna be fuck. There'd be millions of chickens that just would be unused. You must be vegan. You must educate yourself. It is your moral responsibility. You have so much. Well, you could eat them, but they're not raising it for that. The other places are doing that. Or when you make these videos to continue to make them. And every time that you show a child asking for a hot dog, you must have them in the script. Write it down. I guess I would like a vegan hot dog, please. You must have it in the script. You must have every future vegan video. You must have it in a script. Yes, can I please have a vegan hot dog? God damn it. And you must educate yourself. It is your moral responsibility. You have so much power when you make these videos to continue to make them. And every time that you show a child asking for a hot dog, you must have them in the script. Write it down. I guess I would like a vegan hot dog, please. Every time they get an ice cream, don't say, I'd like an ice cream, please. Or if a dad is offering the child an ice cream, he should always say, would you like a vegan ice cream? Yes, cone? I'd have a vegan ice cream, please. If, Dar if every fucking Darman video had to specifically mention that every food they were eating was vegan, I would stop watching Darman. <laughs> if every 10 seconds, yeah, do you guys want me to order some vegan pizza with these vegan french fries and this vegan and this vegan chicken sandwich here? That's not, it's imitate chicken. It's not actually chicken. No. And the child should say, yes, that should be the script. We need to teach veganism. We need to teach But he's trying to make it seem as realistic. It's a teaching thing, but in a real-life scenario. Even though Darman sometimes goes off the rails and doesn't really have real-life scenarios, this is supposed to be something that could be feasibly normed, right? Like, you can understand why it's happening or why they're showing that. But, like, in that, in, like, a scenario where every time they mention food, it's vegan, it's just unrealistic animal protection and if you're talking about shoes and buying leather it should be vegan leather it shouldn't be the skin did you see the video two years ago the vegan teacher eating in public eating a burger at mcdonald's it was from the back i don't know if it was actually her navy for the sub look for the fringe bets <laughs> if she was telling me this while crying i would say i don't care an animal that begged for their life it is wrong what we did to the Jews in World War II. She says Jesus was vegan, but if you look up pictures of the Last Supper, he has a dead lamb's head on the table. Yeah. Putting them into these gas chambers, but the Holocaust never ended for well, the it, Like, there's a lot of stories about fish and shit, too. It's like, what? Animals. That's they pescatarian, if anything. The and the reason that none of you believe that is because you are too afraid to watch the important documentary. You must go to Don't Watch Doc. Don't watch .org. She showed it a million times. It's literally a fucking 10 second video of them killing chickens. I can't show it on stream. At the beginning, this young lady is not vegan, but at the end, she is. Stay with me and watch it. Help animals every day. Go, Go vegan, vegan today. Oh, this is a PETA video? All right. <laughs> We're moving on. You can save over 100 animals per year. See, she takes the pamphlet and she rips it up. Nah, just... dude, I actually don't know if I want to watch this. Because she's going to go on a rant. This is like a minute long video. She talks for like 18 fucking minutes, bro. Shut up. Yeah. This is no, it's not. Yeah, it oh, is. this is vegan mac and cheese. Oh, it's not. I'm going to have the Black Bean Burger. Hold the Swiss. Is your mayo vegan? Okay, I'll have that. Hold the Swiss. In other words, you. She... Hold the Swiss. Hold the Swiss cheese. I'm saying hold the Swiss because Swiss cheese is a fucking uh, a blasphemy 
that it even exists. Swiss cheese is fucking disgusting. I'm gonna say, hold the Swiss, give me American. Hold the Swiss, give me some cheddar. Hold the Swiss, give me some fucking provolone. I'm not saying hold the Swiss because it's fucking vegan. You won't take the Swiss cheese. Or it's not you vegan. You take the vegan version of the mayo. Yes. Yes. And, and I'm not against people ordering vegan food. My girlfriend only orders vegan ice cream. Like, if we ever get ice cream, she orders vegan ice cream. Do you have any vegan non-dairy options, is what she says. I say, wow. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to be like, damn, you can't say that. I'm not going to be around you while you order that. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'm just saying, like, making a whole amount, I'm making a whole Darman video where, like, kids in school are saying that. It's just unrealistic. Jack for the 300 bets, uh, the, ro the royal for the 400 bets, fuck PETA. No, I'm not saying fuck PETA. Seski for the mayo. sub. Only I don't really know that much about PETA. But you can do better. You can really do better. Damn, she actually kept marks of the X's. Good and bad. 4, 8, 12, 16 X's. F. Alright, next video. Now we're actually on to a Darman video. Adult wants to stay as a kid forever. This what happens next is shocking. <laughs> this looks so boring. All right, no surprises here. Oh shit. It looks like Brent Jacobson. Why the fuck? Oh my god. Whatever. We'll move up. We'll move up. I forgot that it was on the bottom. My bad. My bad. My bad. Is the clear winner with the most red flags captured. Now, I wonder why. He's like 25 years old against like six year olds in an athletic competition. Still undefeated. <laughs> oh, I'm a beast, baby. There you have it, folks. Brent Jacobson is the Beast Mode Kids champion. Until somebody beats him. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, I've been on the show for six years. <laughs> no one can I've been on I've been on this show since I was since I was 17. I'm 23 now, bitch. I'm 23 now, bitch. The fucking competition can't get me. <laughs> I can ride tricycles faster than anybody. You can beat me. <laughs> I really hope someone does. Uh, oh, 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 and, and don't forget, check out the new- How old is he? Like, I feel like they try- how, how old do you think they're portraying him? I would guess like 23 to 26. But I feel like this dude's like 30. Because like, I'm 20, and this man looks five years older than me. Six years older than me, at least. He looks so much older than me. 26, 24, yeah, he's supposed to be like, no, not 18. They're not picking, they're, they're not depicting him as 18, bro. Season of my dog ate my homework coming next month, right here on the Kids Network. Woo! And cut. Woo! Hey, no one likes sore losers, guys. They're actually make portraying him as 18. Just <laughs> hear you, man, boy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Brent, great job. Again. It's like, it's like every Disney show actor that's like 35 years old and they've been on Disney since they were like seven. Just time. Yep, thanks, man. Well, luckily I never get tired of winning. <laughs> and I'll be back next week to defend my title. Yeah, about that. We've been getting some feedback from our audience and they're kind of tired of seeing you win every week. They think it makes it unfair. I don't think a show would last. Uh, I'm going to call this unrealistic in that uh, imagine, chat, would you watch a show where o there was only one winner for six years straight? Like, imagine if this was on Disney and this guy won every week for six consecutive years. It would be so boring. Because eventually, you would, you would stop tuning in. You would know that he would win. There would never be like, oh shit, he's going to lose. He would win every fucking day. Fair to the other competitors. What? It's not my fault. I win every time. I mean, honestly, so the kids need to step up their game. <laughs> but you're 18, Brent. You've kind of got an advantage. Plus, you've done the course so many times, you could probably win in your sleep. Hey, man, the rules it's are the what the same they are, course. Right? They don't, don't even change the game. 
by me. <laughs> Rules are what they are. That's right? American Ninja Warrior now. Do you guys like that show? I fucking hate American Ninja Warrior, bro. That shit is so boring. So boring, bro. Actually. Actually so fucking boring. I used to love it. Isn't it the same thing every day? Isn't it the same thing now? Like, when that shit came out, like, I don't know, like, six, seven years ago, it was like, damn, this shit's the fucking, oh my god, I love this. Now, I'll be watching that goddamn show, I'm like, it's just, it's the same course. Oh, he's going up the warp wall for the fucking 5,000th time. Can he climb the warp wall? Every year, he comes back and barely gets past every course. But can he conquer the warp wall? I don't give a fuck. I don't care if he can conquer the warp wall. It's a bad show. Rules, yeah, we gotta abide by those rules. Yeah, that's why our showrunners have written another rule. What? Effective today, winners can no longer return after winning more than 20 times in a row. So this will be your last appearance on Beast Mode Kids. Wait, are you you're kidding me, right? No. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous? What? Look, I'm sorry, Brent. But maybe it's time to let some of the other kids win for once. What? Hey, at least you got your other show, right? Yo, listen. You guys are making a huge mistake. I'm the reason why everyone watches this show. <laughs> oh, at least we got the flags back. <laughs> oh, is this his show? This looks so bad. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Wait, is this for me? You guys. Yes, I mean. Bro, what is that fucking dinner? That, dude, you got the dinosaur and whatever the fuck. That just looks like lettuce. It's a big achievement. Who would have thought that a show about a kid who's going to be 10 forever would be a big hit? <laughs> ah. Man, that's awesome. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah, at least one of my shows still appreciates having me. Yeah, I... Heard about what happened on Beast Mode Kids. Saw about that, bro. Why? Heard about what happened on Beast Mode Kids. Oh, it looks like he's wearing contacts, doesn't it? Saw about that, bro. I was a celebrity guest on that show for years. They just kicked me off, thinking I'm too old. Like, you know what? My favorite actor growing up was Philip Mars. My man was... On Nickelodeon, well into his mid-20s. Well, to be fair, to be fair, if you guys were on Nickelodeon and you were making a bag filming some kitty-ass show, would you keep filming it? Like, if they're paying this motherfucker, like, 400 grand a year to, like, be in some dumb-ass show, I'd be like, uh, fuck yeah. Like, the, like, okay, yeah, the show's shitty. I think it's bad, but, like, it, like if you're, if you're making the money from it, like, what? Money's. Yeah, everybody's gonna do that. All he can do is so can I. Uh, well, he was. Actually... It's because he's genuinely enjoying it. That's why it's weird. Playing a teenager, you're playing a ten year old. Those are two different things, and you look really old. Oh, a little makeup can't fix. Okay. Oh, is he gonna act so like how a much kid? Longer on the makeup how weird we're do you to get think started. he's gonna act? Do you think he's gonna act really fucking weird? I want to see him act. Sitting here. Like, because he's probably going to be like, oh! Um, I'm going to need a wow. Is there a problem? Look, I can make a 42 year old look 10, but an 18 year old, it's not an easy process. Oh, Excuse he is 18. Me. They're making an 18 year old look 10 years old. Yeah, that's not possible. I heard that. All right. So if Paul Rudd and Jennifer Aniston can still look 30, you can make me look 10. Come on. Well, Jump no. Because the aging scales very quickly. Someone who's 60 looking 30 is much more possible than someone look that's 18 looking 10. Make it happen. David. Yes. Let's go through the scene. All right. So. Hey, I had a question about this line right TGB here. TGB for the Twins Bets. It says I call him my little boy. Yeah. What's your question? Well, uh, does that sound right? He's not very little. Isn't the point of the show that he's supposed to be a kid forever? Do you? I don't write it. I just direct it. 
God. This show would be so cringe. Imagine if this existed. Isn't there a movie that's like this? Like an adult that like acts like a kid? I feel like that would be so fucking cringe. All right, I'm ready. All right, let's do this thing. Let's make it quick. My makeup looks good. Come on. Come on. Hey. It's the boss. All right, let's go for a rehearsal action. Oh, no. All right. Pictures up. <laughs> action. <clears throat> Mommy, I don't want to eat my vegetables. They taste icky. Now look. <laughs> Lucas, we've talked about this. You have to get your vegetables so you can grow up to be. This has got to be, bro. This got to be some fetish type <laughs> shit. Grow up to be big and strong. One day. Yeah, sport. At this rate, you'll be 10 forever if you do not get your vitamins. That's not fair. Why do I have to listen to you guys? Maybe when you get older, you can do whatever you want. Bro, You're... he's acting like AJ from The Walking Dead. You know what I mean? Bro, like it just reminded me of that. Still our little like, you remember the first season when AJ was there? He just complained the entire time. Our little boy. I don't think that these actors in this real scenario would complain. Because you're you're making a bag. They're not going to be like, oh, the kid's a little young. They're making fucking, or, or the kid's a little old to be acting this young. Uh, they're making like 600 grand from this shit. Okay, uh, I can't do- Uh, Darman reacting to that vegan vid. So you see this bitch is crazy. Oh, did he ever actually react to it? Do this. There is no way my character will believe that this grown man- That is, is what he would say, boy. I cut. What is your problem, Eileen? I'm just saying. This is ridiculous. Can I not have the vegetables? What is your problem, Eileen, you fucking bitch? Just say your goddamn line. Just say your goddamn line. And then he goes back to being a fucking kid. <laughs> Just say your goddamn line. Lewis, am I the only one who thinks this? Come on. Yo, how hard is it to act like I'm I don't want my vegetables. I don't even know how to act. I don't know how he sounds like that. He's old. You know, I knew we should have recast it back in season three. Am I the only one who thinks that? I'm just saying. Tell me you're joking. We knew that this was going to happen sooner or later. We should have never renewed the show for a sixth season. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, was it we failing? We were the number one kid show on television. We were. When you were 12. No. But people are starting to notice the age. It's getting creepy. The show doesn't work anymore, Brent. Maybe if it was a cartoon, but... I don't think this show would work anyway. People are not buying that you were 10 years old. People love me. I'm a star. We don't doubt that. You don't fit into the premise of the show anymore. It's not a big deal. It happens to child stars all- Two inch for the fucking 5,000 bits. Oh, it's, a f it's one of these messages. Oh, it's one of these messages. Everybody buckle in for what two inch just said. No capper rapper, Joe. I would fuck the shit out of a coconut if I was stranded on an island. Hell. I, I, why do I have to read this? I don't want to read this. I don't want to. No, I don't. Want, I, I don't want to read this, dude. I, he he goes on for like a minute about that shit would go crazy and it wouldn't waste after you could still eat it. My chat's putting dub, bro. My chat's putting dub. Two inch for the five thousand bits. You're a fucking beast. Uh, does anybody watch Marble Racing? It is unironically enjoyable. I have before. Did you guys watch uh, Marble uh, Racing before? Read it. I'm not reading the rest. I'm not reading the rest. I skipped one one part of it. All the time. You said even if you weren't stranded, you would do it right now. That's weird. So that's it? The show's just canceled. Yeah. F. You guys are going to regret this. You guys are gonna regret this. 
Get me on the Jimmy Fallon show right now. What do you get when you... <laughs> this is the start of his villain arc. This show could have gone on for at least a few more seasons. And by that time, you would be old enough to be the dad. Well, no. Well, no. Because the kid in the show is supposed to be 10. He's 18. Uh, and in a few years, meaning 21, he would have had to have a kid at 11 years old to have a 10-year-old. Uh, it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course I'll find work. Because you'll find it for me. You're my agent. So that's what you're supposed to do. Well, okay, what about that show where those middle school kids solve mysteries? That one's a big hit. Oh, he's trying to get in on a, that fucking show? I, I, maybe I can play one of those kids? What do you mean I'm too old? Just go into regular acting. Or fucking use your goddamn money to retire. If you're really like an, a Disney-esque actor, you would have enough money to just fucking quit. Okay. Look, 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 look. Just find me something, okay? <gasps> nah, they easier. threw the cake out. His Trust zipper's me. down? No, it's not. I'm used to days like these. It's not my first time being on a show that's been canceled. I'm not worried. I'm... I'm just annoyed. You know, like... It's whatever. It's whatever. I'll, I'll find a new show soon enough, then I'll be right back on top. I like the positivity. If you don't mind me asking, you gonna be okay? Financially? Of course. Come on. I was just a star on a hit TV show, man. I mean, like, I have people that manage my accounts, but... But I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. All right, see y'all later. All right, see you. <laughs> all right, bro. Oh, do you think that someone's going to fuck up his, like, bank account and he's going to lose all his money? Or, like, they invest it in a bad stock or some shit? Like, why would he say that in this? Well, that's good. You know, it's and then he's going to have to get a regular acting job. I have some money saved up for situations like these. Can you read my other bits? I don't be mean to be annoying, but you've missed my bits three or four times. You're still a great streamer, so keep up the good work. Um, I'm sorry I'm missing your bits, but you do got to realize most people don't really send the amount of bits, bit messages you've been sending, and I'm reacting to this, so I'm, I'm not going to see them sometimes. Um, but I will try to read them. I watched this video right after it came out. It's very cringe. And then you said, fuck PETA. That, I, I, I didn't miss any more messages. I would miss them briefly, and then I would go back and read them. It's just like I'm doing, I'm doing this right now, so like I'm not always gonna be able to like instantly read it, right? Like I just read it. Like that's why the the alert box is off. If I was playing a video game or something where I didn't have to pay attention, the alert box would be on. But I'm watching this, so I'm not gonna be able to read them every second, right? Um, I'm not I, sorry if that that comes off as like, oh, I don't want to read the message. I do. It's just like if every time I got a message, I instantly paused then I would pause even more than I already do, and I already pause 45 times, right? Um, but I will read every single one. If I do miss any message or any sub, tell me. I'll read it. Um, but I am I am sorry if I don't read it off rip, right? Because it, when I'm doing something like a reaction day, uh, I'm not going to see all of them right away. Uh, somebody said, scream or I will kill myself. Uh, see you never in my chat. That's an L chatter ban. Awesome for the 300 bits, or for the three, react to vegan booty. She's annoying ass activist, and it'll be funny for you to piss on her. Uh, I have so many goddamn reactions that we have to get through after this. We've only gotten through, like, fucking three videos, but I will look it up uh, for a different day. I will sub to her and watch her videos a different day. Uh, exclamation point Discord, you can join the Discord and send videos for me to react to. You can send videos like that in the video suggestion tab. Please. I guess I've been playing your dad for so long that I actually care about your future. Yeah. Guys, okay, you, you literally don't have to talk right here. No. You can go anywhere else. Please, just clear out. Go home. Okay. Exactly. Damn. <laughs> Would y'all do that? If you if you saw a group like 10 feet in front of you talking shit on you and like looking at you, I would do the same shit. I would do the same shit though. I'd be like, yo, I know I see y'all are doing that. Like fucking leave. Man, this, this show could have kept going, you know? Why do they have to cancel it? <laughs> Well, life foreshadowing, isn't foreshadowing. Like Toys R Us, you can't be a kid forever. At some point, we all have to grow up. It's the music. Change it's the is music scary, that cues it. It's a part of life. 
You know what? Is that Brit? If Ma You're wrong about this. <laughs> Too much just said, is that British Floyd Mayweather? No, he looks nothing like Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, I can be a kid forever on television. And they can do some pretty impressive things with CGI nowadays. Why does he always want to be a kid? That's just like weird. You always want to be a kid on TV. I feel like the best acting positions are when you're an adult. Good luck to you, Brent. That or when you're like a decrepit old man and you have that like Morgan Freeman role where you just kind of commentate. It's like the lowest effort shit. Hope whatever you do next is real special. But you can't really fake being old. Yeah. It will. What you doing for the sub? Well, you drive safe now. Well, that went well. Oh, nah. Bro's got a beard. Bro's got a five o'clock shadow. He's trying out for the fucking kid position. Nah. Is your kid auditioning too? No. I'm the one auditioning. Oh. Okay, well, you, good luck to you. Yeah. Yeah, bitch. Your dumbass kid ain't gonna make the fucking roll. That's all me. That's all me. Are you Brent Jacobson? My dog ate my homework? Yeah. Yes, I am. Hey. It was a little hard to notice because of the... Oh, you know. Yes, I know. I know. I, I look a lot older in person. Actually, it was pretty easy to notice on the show. It was very noticeable. Brent Jacobson? Y yes. Hey. It would worry me having that big of earrings. Would that worry you guys? Like, I feel like I would like... Like, what if that got caught? Will you ever play Fall Guys again? Well, Do y'all want me to play Fall Guys one day again? I would. Uh, I don't know when, though. i 10 year old for six years, so... I have plenty of experience. I was on a hit TV show, if you can check that out. I don't think it's going to be a good fit. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Wait, you didn't even you, try you out. You don't even want me to read the lines? We're OK, thanks. <clears throat> wow. Oh, mommy. This monster's under my bed. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. <laughs> do you think this is also in part supposed to be a joke about this guy as the actor because this guy always acts young in darman videos this guy i feel like it's a little bit of him joking about himself too because he always plays like a fucking sophomore in high school and he's like 26 27. Sorry. It's going to be a pass. We're just looking for someone younger. He's 22. This actor's 22. He looks so much older than me. I mean, it's still like, I, I don't know. It is how it is. Don't most Disney actors play a role much younger than themselves. So I, I feel like he could do it. But I feel like five years from now, this guy will have to play an adult in Darman videos. Because the last like two or three, he's been playing like high schoolers. Brent Jacobs? Brent Jacobs? Last call for Brent Jacobs. Do you mean Brent Jacobson? <laughs> yeah. Brent Jacobson. Come on in. Oh my god, that's so cocky. That's so fucking cocky. Of course he means you fucking asshat. Where are the odds there's another Brent Jacob in the fucking room? Oh, do you mean Brent Jacobson? Uh, you actually pronounced my name wrong. I'm a prominent actor on the Kid Channel Network. I'm so unpopular. Sure, the least he can do is know my name. <laughs> Please, sir. Oh, my God. My daddy needs an ambulance. He needs to get to a hospital. Um, that was great. Uh, why don't we do it again? And this time, let's age it up a bit, okay? Oh. Oh, he's playing for a role that's actually not a kid this time. Okay, yeah, no, of course, of course. Um, uh, Mr. 
please. Look, my daddy needs an ambulance. Okay, that was so great. Um, <laughs> you know what? Uh, don't call us. We'll call you, okay? And I understand about me being annoying. I'm not saying you're annoying, Jack. Thank you for the 300 bits. You're my favorite streamer. Also, who is worse, Andrew Tate or that vegan teacher? Uh, it depends what the topic is. And thank you for coming in, okay? Oh, um, don't forget your stuff. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Bye bye What? What do you mean you got nothing for me? Oh, he has no money. I said it. Well, there's there's got to be at least something I can audition for. Oh, wait, no. Listen, it's, oh, fuck. I thought he was going to lose all his money. Cute 10 year old kid with an adorable face? This would be a lot easier. But you're older now. And you kind of outgrew your talent. It happens to a lot of child actors. Damn. What are, what are you trying to say? That is facts, though. Don't most Disney Channel actors kind of just, like, stop? Like, like think of all your, like, did anyone from Victorious other than Ariana Grande become famous? Or, like, iCarly? Or, like, any of them? Like, I feel like they all kind of just did Disney or Nick. Like, if you're a Disney actor, I feel like you kind of just do the Disney's, like, the Disney, like, shows, and then you're done. Like, it's usually nothing after that. For most people. Maybe it's time Drake to and Josh. Well, Drake and Josh, they also didn't really. I mean, Josh Peck became more of like a, a an influencer. Good job. Good Drake job. fucking moved to like Argentina or some shit and became a a a, a singer. Job. Like a like a day job. Why would I do that? <laughs> I'll just I'll hang on to the money I got now. And they always get addicted to drugs. Well, I don't think that's the main reason. I think they usually just stop wanting to do it. Like, real, realistically, if you act from the age of, like, 10 to 20, you could just retire. I find my next part. Jake Paul? Jake Paul was on Vine, bro. That motherfucker acted for, like, one year. Sorry to break it to you, but you're almost broke. Zendaya, that's true. I telling you to save. But you wanted a nice car and designer bags? Damn, Zendaya was on Shake It Up. Y'all remember that fucking show? It's happened a million times. People just think that the money will never run out, but it does. Take my advice and get a job. Please. Damn. Get a job? Like what? Like a nine to That's five? Impressions. Mm -hmm. What's this? He's a size medium. Why get extra large shirts? That's fine. I'll fit into it. Okay. Right. <sighs> Are you available to start right away? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Oh, well, welcome aboard. Mr. Dog ate my homework. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are they making fun of him? <laughs> I had to do it. <laughs> welcome to the family. Okay. I got you. I feel like that's like, oh, what would that be like? Chat, imagine you're like watching Zach and Cody, and then a few years later, you see Zach or Cody working at like a fucking McDonald's. Oh, my God. There you go. All right. Nice. We're going to need you in the dish pit right, right away. All right, let's go. Oh, All right. We're opening up in five. That'd be funny. Right. Ooh, It'd be weird. Right, right. Like, I would, I would think that I was in the Matrix if I saw that. If I saw, like, fucking Zach from Zach and Cody at, like, a local Walmart, I'd be like, no shot. Table three. Like, of him working there, not of me seeing him. Is up. Order table three is up. Brent, hey, you know what? You want a gig? I got one for you. Waiter number three, order up. Sorry about that. It's like he needs a director to tell him what to do. You know what? You're right. Let me try that again. Action. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why are they being such assholes? They're not in a rush to serve a fucking burger and fries on a goddamn plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Laugh all you want, all right? This job is temporary until I get my next acting job. All right? J just watch. <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on. Hey, how's it going? Well, why don't you take a seat wherever you'd like? We'll be right with you, okay? Hey, Jacobson, got another customer. Can you handle that? Yep. Yeah. Oh, and it's going to be some prominent movie guy that's going to see Jacobson and think that he has talent to be in the next prominent movie. And then he's going to blow up and become a great adult actor.
Oh my god, you're so-and-so, the director of whatever. You're Philip Mars. Oh. Uh. Guilty. Okay, I, I am like a huge fan. I watched all your shows on Nickelodeon oh. when I was a kid. Oh. oh, I appreciate that. It's always nice to meet a fan. No, I'm actually more than a fan. I'm, I'm an actor myself. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of in between gigs right now. But I, I had my show on Kids Network. Oh, wow. My, my daughter loves that channel. You have a daughter? <laughs> yeah. And a wife, too. Why Wait. was that so shocking? <laughs> why was that so... Why was that so shocking? <laughs> you have a daughter? And a, and a wife? Easy, right? <laughs> You're like a full-grown adult. Yeah. Happens to all of us eventually, even child stars. Order number two, Brent, stop annoying the customers and take their order already. Come on. I'll be right there. I'm talking about idols. Sorry, I don't really uh, appreciate the art of acting around here. Man. <laughs> oh, wow. You this know what? is so weird. I'm always looking for new actors. Oh, my God. Me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. YouTube channel. Oh, Ooh, for my YouTube channel, the Dar Man. Oh my god, don't tell me. Don't tell me this is supposed to be how this guy got started on fucking Darman. I'd be interested, would you? Are you kidding? I'd, I'd love to. Cool. Can I see your range real quick? Right now? No better time than the present. Oh, uh. I didn't really like, have the thing prepared. But, uh, yeah, okay. I got some impressions for you. Uh, these are impressions I did for my audition for the Kids Network. Oh, he's gonna be a kid. Oh, it's gonna be okay, so fucking is, uh, weird. Kevin McAllister from Home Alone. <laughs> Out of any fucking impression you could do, you chose Kevin McAllister from Home Alone. The rub together face slap in which he screams. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. And, uh, okay, I got another one, I got another one. This is, uh, Haley Joel Osment from The Sixth Sense. I see dead people. <laughs> That's your fucking, those are your two impressions. You meet a prominent fucking director, those are your two impressions that you're showing them. <laughs> That's good. Right? good. I got, I got That's one, good. I'll give one more. Jack from the Ranger Beds. That's a very weird question. I'm not answering that. You'll, you'll like this. You'll like this. You're, you're starting. You're starting to Jack. I was trying to Jack. You're starting to be weird now. That was a very, that's just a weird question. Here. I could take care of you. I wouldn't let anyone hurt you. We could grow up together. Oh my God, dude! Pick a different fucking impression. That's good. I'll give one more. No, you're, you're, dude, you're good. I don't know. This one's kind of cringe. I feel like that's the point, but is this a good Darman vid? It's Elliot from ET, you'll, you'll like this, you'll like this. You could be happy here. I could take care of you. I wouldn't let anyone hurt you. We could grow up together, ET. Hey! This isn't America's Got Talent, all right? <sighs> Come on, you go bust some tables or do some- Jesus Christ. I will read, I will read your, your thing. Puff for the sub. Jack says, would you rather be a predator and nobody knows it, or have everyone think you are, but you're not one? Which would you rather have, chat? That's the question. Jack, that is a weird question to ask. Probably, I mean, everybody think you are because then you're not one. Being one is being worse than being thought of as one. That's just, oh, fuck. I just, oh, my God. I just moved my stream delay. Hold up. Hold up. All right, I fixed that. No, it's just a weird question. I mean, the first, like, the fir the first one is literally being one. The second one is people thinking you are one. Uh, so, I mean, being one, it would be worse, obviously. It's just a weird, like, it's just a weird, qu either way, it's bad. Either way, it sucks. Joe Shardalozzi for the 300 bits. I want to thank you for all the way, uh, for all ways lighting up my day after my shits. Thank you so much. Okay, so you watch me after you poop. Yeah, no, Jack, that is a weird question, though. It would suck either way. Some sweeping. But two, the second option. Coming, I'm coming, just... So my friend dared me to ask. What you think? Your friend dared you to ask? What it, what the fuck is this? <laughs> they were good. I dare you but to ask Joe all this. Impressions of kid actors. No, but the second one. Just Would because you then me? you're not actually one. I think a little more 
age appropriate? Oh. I don't know. I guess I've just always kind of been good at playing a kid. I know that feeling. I love Nickelodeon. I don't think I ever get another show again. I just always thought I'd be a kid actor. Damn. I had three TV shows and four different movies. What? Man, so I. Okay, how, how did you do it? I. I embraced the change. It was scary at first, but I realized that I had to move forward in my life. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my fucking God, dude. Can we stop asking me would you rather? Filth, this is. I said this is the last would you rather I'm, at, I'm doing. Forever. For the rest of the day. If you ask me a fucking would you rather, I'm not answering it. Filth for the 500 bits. Would you rather stay as you are or have a 10% chance of switching bodies with Ryan Reynolds? Stay as I am. Why the fuck would I why the fuck would I want to be Ryan Reynolds? I don't want to be Ryan Reynolds. I think Ryan Reynolds is cool. I want to be me. I want to be me. No, but that but now nah, y'all are weird as fuck. Y'all are weird as fuck for saying one to Jack's question because then you literally are one. Would you rather he said would you rather be a predator or have everybody think you are? If you say one, you literally are saying you would rather be one. Stealer for the sub. Move on. Move on. I'm not answering any more would you rather. Stop asking me if I would rather fuck a coconut. Dude, what? Yeah, for the sub. Can't stay a kid forever. Yeah, but at some point we all have to grow up. That's right. I've had some others uh, recently tell me the same thing. I. My friend is weird, but he paid me to do it. I don't want to get a reputation for being weird. Okay, well then just stop asking weird questions. <laughs> That's uh, it, it, that was on you, Jack, for the three hundred bets. Um, I guess I didn't really believe it. Trust me, moving to the next chapter in your life isn't always easy. How is you gonna grow? Felt for the five hundred bets. I did that on my own. It. Okay. Yeah, give into it. And once you do, it'll take you where you're meant to be. This this one is actually ass. This one is actually ass. He becomes a regular actor. Get up and play. Wow, he becomes a great actor that isn't a kid's actor. And then he grows a beard. How cool, how cool, how great. We move on. Uh, that Darman vid was mid. That was a mid Darman, bro. Joe's grumpy as shit today. I'm not grumpy. Do I, am I, am I being grumpy, chat? I'm sorry if I'm being grumpy. I'm not trying to be grumpy. That was just a shit Darman. That was a mid one, bro. That was bad. Phil, for the 500 bets, you're chilling. I'm not, I'm not actually mad. I just don't, I, I don't want to be kept... Whenever I keep getting asked would you rather questions, it starts a chain of other would you rather questions, and then I never get to the videos because it's just 45, would you rather fuck a coconut or a pineapple? Would you rather, would you rather be a predator or everybody think you're one? Would you rather kill someone or be killed? Would you rather be Iron and Valorant or hate your life? Like, <laughs> like it, it's just so many fucking would you rathers. Oh shit, I didn't even fucking tell you guys the video. Next video. I'm not saying you're mad. I'm saying you're grumpy because I thought it was a good question, but you shit on it. I, it's not, I, that, no, it's not a good, I, well, the reason I don't think it's a good question is because you're saying, would you rather be me or a 10% chance of me being Ryan Reynolds? I don't want to be Ryan Reynolds. So that's why it's a bad question. Like, that, that's why I said it was a shit question. I don't want to be mad. I don't want to be Ryan Reynolds. Basically, that's it. Not all bodies, but a good amount of bodies need to Should I have picked somebody else? Who do you want to be? I don't want to be anybody. I want to be me. Because I was given my own consciousness. I want to stay myself. I'm perfectly fine with myself. I don't think you should want to be... I don't think anyone should want to be someone else. I think that's, that's why it's a bad question in my eyes. You should want to be you. No matter who you are, you should want to be you. You should be fine with your own body. You should be confident in yourself. I don't think you should want to be someone else. You can strive to be similar in essence to somebody else, but you shouldn't want to be somebody else regardless of who they are. Hence why I said I would never want to be Ryan Reynolds. But I'm boring as shit. Then be interesting. The fuck? Cause I, then I'm, but I'm boring. Well, if you're Ryan Reynolds, you're still gonna be boring because it's your personality. Then just change your personality. I don't, I don't think you're boring personally, filth. But I, it's just, it's, it's not a corny ass answer. It's me being a genuine answer. That helps. Well, it, how does that not help? So, so, me telling you to be interesting. I don't know. Join a club. Join a club. Uh, fuck it. Start playing new video games. Meet new people. I don't know.
He paid me twenty dollars. I'm not like that at all, bro. You're fine, Jack, for the finish bets. Not all bodies, but a good amount of bodies need tissue builder. It is lovely to help with building out faces such as sunken in temples, eyes, even lips. It's like a Botox for the deceased. Oh shit, dude. It's literally, it's lit, dude, I keep, I just keep playing the video. I didn't even fucking say what we were watching. I'm 30 and I embalm dead bodies. Sorry for, sorry for the, the random intro there. Not all bodies, but a good amount of bodies need tissue builder. It is lovely to help with building out faces such as sunken in temples, eyes, even lips. Would you guys be a mortician if you could? Like if the pay was good. Would you be a mortician? A mortician is somebody who prepares dead bodies, does all that type of shit. I would say no. I, I, you would have to pay me an, an insanely large sum of money to do that. Like, it, it's not even, it's not even close, like, what you would have to be paying for me to do that. Because that shit's just rough. Play Mortuary's Assistant? I should one day. I should one day. I don't know, I don't know when I'm going to, though. It's like a Botox for the deceased. My name is Miranda. I'm a mortician here at Millward Funeral Directors in Lexington, Kentucky. This is the entrance to Millward's, our casket showroom. Walnut, hickory, maple, I mean, all kinds. This room is our visitation room. We call this our music room. What I'm sitting on is an antique. This is a casket beer. It's made for casketed bodies. I love how she's so happy talking about this. This is our embalming room. This is an absolutely sacred place. It'd be an place. interesting conversation starter to say you're a, a fucking mortician. And no one is allowed in oh, here Oh, wait. Without. Should I scan this for dead bodies? I don't think they would show a dead body. Oh, is that a dead body? I don't know if that's a dead body. Well, we'll see when we get there. Authorization. Whoa! The funeral business is a $16 billion a year business. Chat. Now, let me re-ask the question. Would you be a mortician? How much do they make? How much do they make? How much do you think morticians make? How much does a mortician make? 91K yearly, average of 71. 71 depends on the state, says. Play dead by play dying light. I'm not playing dying light. I thought you said dead by daylight. My bad. The captain for the Thringer Bets. Jack for the Thringer Bets. Have you played GTA 5 on stream? Uh, Yeah, but a while ago. You should play GTA 6 in 20 years when it comes out. Oh, I am. Uh, even if I'm 95 years old, I will play GTA 6. This is Miranda. She is just at a hospital over at Baptist, so that would be a pretty simple removal. I don't mind going by myself. Right now I'm going to Baptist to pick up a decedent who has just expired. Oh my god, you just said they expired! You're talking about them dying. When I was in mortuary school, I learned about death care, but now that I'm working in a funeral home, I have learned more about the process of grief. I believe that my job has given me strength that I didn't know I was gonna have. Very weird, very weird combo of fits here. The leopard print with the flowers. When I first realized what death was, I was scared. Bitch, why are I you would, showing fucking, why are you showing Ouija boards? Lay in bed, think about death, and it was like this black hole. It was anxiety. My feelings on death have affected my feelings on life. I really do live every day like, maybe I'll die. When I'm washing my hair and putting myself together, I'm like... Well I think about that every night. Before I go to bed, you ever think about that shit? Before you go to bed, you ever think, damn, what if I don't wake up? <laughs> That's a very dark thought. But, like, every day, every night, bro, I'm like, I'm like, damn, what if I, like, don't wake up? <laughs> like, like, what if it, 
What if it's just done from here? <laughs> Dude, and then and then I wake up, bro. The last three days, yo, y'all wanna know, bro, the last three days I dead ass said to myself, another day, another dollar. <laughs> Dude, like some dad joke type shit. I said, I woke up, I said, well, I'm alive. <laughs> well, I'm not dead. That's good. That's good, at least. <laughs> Do you ever eat the butt of the bread? Yes. Well, if I was Blood in a car wreck, it could just be cut off anytime. Everything is so small in life, and you really realize the big picture when you're faced with death like how simple and sweet life can be. She picks up the body. That women in the death industry are the change we need. What if you get in a car crash bringing a dead body to a more uh um, um like a mortician? Oh my god. What if like she got in a car crash? In funeral service for a you long You think that's ever happened? Do you think that's ever happened? In time, it was a men-driven business. And having women in this field... Had to have. It's lightening... At least once. ...the load for these grieving families. Damn, she getting fucking geared up, bitch. Damn. Uh, damn, I don't know if I should be showing this shit. I don't know if I should be showing this shit. And we're going to get a Google search here. Can I show a dead body on Twitch? Can I show a dead body on Twitch.tv? <laughs> Is dead... No, fuck. You can't show dead animals. But does that count as humans? I don't know. You think they see a car crash happen and instantly say... WL time... Uh, oh, well, time to go to work. You said WL. Well, time to go to work. Awesome for the 300 bets. When I was a kid, I actually saw a truck run over a dude. And another time, I saw a motorcycle accident. A as a kid, it was horrifying as fuck. Dude, when I was an infant, my grandma uh, told me a story and said that she was uh, just, like, walking with me one day, uh, like, on a vacation. And she's, like, on the side of the road uh, on, like, an intersection literally see someone get decapitated in a car accident holding me and so in my life i have seen someone get decapitated but i don't remember it i don't remember it obviously because i was an infant but i was there when it happened i was told uh blood for the thringe bits if you had to pick any character in a book movie or tv show who's the most similar to you who would you choose and why Sam from Supernatural. Guo for the 300 bits. How much for you to wear clothing? Walter Walter Hartwell White <laughs> is the most like me. No. Uh, how much for you to wear my clothing brand on stream? Uh, I'm already sponsored by Young LA. And, uh, well, so yeah, no, literally. I'm already sponsored by Young LA. Exclamation point, Young LA. YLA, actually. Code Joe B, 15% off. Would I ask, can I ask one more would you rather question? No. Actually, yes, one more. Because it's you, Phil. Oh shit, fuck, fuck. Oh my god, we didn't determine whether or not I can actually show this. Can I show this, chat? Would you rather be in jail for five years or in a coma for a decade? Jail for five. I'd rather be, well, okay. If you, if, if I'm in a coma for a decade, or if I'm in jail for five years, would my would I still have the criminal record, or is it more so I'm just serving my jail time in the would you rather hypothetical, and then I'm I'm just out? Would you chat? Would you rather be in jail for five years or coma for a decade? Coma for a decade, you're just losing ten years of your life. For if you're in jail for five years, you're still cognizant, right? So I feel like I would want to experience the five years, even if they're shitty, rather than not having it at all. Prezo for the sub. Show it? Oh, I don't know if I can. It's whatever. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm nervous about showing this video, chat. I'm not showing this video. I'm not showing this video. We're moving on. 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 Nope. 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 Not showing it. 
some guy asked. Next video, which strip which stripper makes the most money? This one won't be TOS, which is kind of ironic. <laughs> that I know this one will not be TOS. Awesome for the three of us. That's actually uh, good because I still remember witnessing those murders and interrogation with the police as an eight-year-old. I've seen my grandpa die and all, but those two times it was murder. And that's scary as shit, especially as a little kid. Yeah, no, that's fucked. I'm sorry you had to go through that, bro. Can I ask a would you rather? No. To sniff my butt. Oh, wait, hold up. Which stripper makes the most money? Some guy because I respect. Wow, that was a good video. All right. That's fucking insane. Chat, which one? Which one are we watching? Which one are we watching next? How FaZe Clan lost its entire audience in one month, surviving on one penny in America's most expensive city, or I gave a gummy snake to a homeless man? One, two, or three. One, two, or three, in order of how I just announced them. Oh my god, it's so split. Okay, I gotta do a poll. I gotta do a poll. I gotta do which first? I think we'll be able to finish two of these. One, two, or three. So we're gonna we're gonna we're only gonna be able to finish two of these today. Actually, maybe all three. I don't really know. We'll see. Do a poll on that. I gotta go piss real quick. While you guys vote, I'm gonna I'm gonna go use the bathroom. I'll play a song for you guys, don't worry. I'll play a song. I'll play a song. What song should I play for you guys? Hold up. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, song name. That's Let the Weed Bun. Uh, uh, well, there's multiple artists that have done that song. Just look up Let the Weed Bun and you can find out. All right. Uh, one, one. So how the FaZe Clan lost its entire audience in one month and then the gummy. Wait. And then we'll revote. And then we'll revote. All right. This guy right here. How face Clay lost his entire audience in one month. This guy right here is pros. And he has been a part of Face Clan's biggest financial blunder ever. Face Clan and its sponsors invested over $1.5 million into his career. And the result, stagnation. His viewership is. Oh, is he the dude that won phase one? growing his announcement video barely cracked a hundred thousand views and he hasn't uploaded on youtube in three months so what happened well today we're going to find out because well to be fair if you won the phase contract if you won the phase one contract you get 1.5 million dollars you get a car and i think like a two-year g fuel sponsorship or some shit if you fell off would you really care like, like, would you really care? Like, you already kind of made every, every good, like, you've made your money. Like, you've just made your money. You've made, you like, you've done it. You've already done it. You already got paid, yeah. I mean, this there's probably some contract, but you can't, you would obviously have to still make content. You can't win the contract and then not make content. But him not doing well doesn't matter. He still gets to keep the money. It's the story of the 2022 Phase one recruitment challenge. Tommy Unold was in that. I think he should have won. When we think of Face Clan, we think of community. The trick shots, the ill camps, the recruits, we all loved it. Man, I used to be the biggest Face Fakey fan. And I fondly remember trick shotting my teenage years away to try and join the best team in the world. It seemed impossible at the time. How could an irrelevant kid like me join the biggest trick shotting team? Did in you the guys world? ever have dreams of joining Phase? I don't know if I ever did. Or any clan. Any any video game clan. Like FaZe, Optic, whatever. 100 Thieves. I never really I never really had a dream of that. I thought it was cool, 
but I was never like, yeah, I want to be a part of FaZe. The world. Well, there was hope. You see, FaZe Clan loved their community, and they started doing a top 5 track shots of the week in 2011 to feature some of their fans. I, of course, tried my best to get included, practicing no. my temper shot every day in the hopes of seeing my name in one of those videos. Oh, that's not even a good trick shot. That's just, that's just someone who's AFK. And you did a fucking scope in 360 shot, bro. And that probably took like three hours too. I hated trick shotting. Did y'all used to trick shot in COD? Fuck no. Dude, my friends would do, we would do like free for alls with my friends. And they would be like, all right, trick shot last. I would, yo, I'm a, and this is me telling you guys something. I was never the motherfucker that would trick shot last. I was always that dickhead that would kill last. And I'll be like, oh, damn, I didn't know. Fuck out of here. You think I'm trick shotting? Fuck out of here. You think I'm trick shotting? Hey, the fuck? Shot every day in the hopes of seeing my name in one of those videos. But it unfortunately never happened. However, the competitions were a huge success. And it resulted in the making of the first community montage named Historic not long after. Face Clan were pioneers in the space. As they created a feeling of inclusivity for their fans. And they decided to step it up even more in 2013. Up until this point, the fans already featured in montages and compilations. But this wasn't enough. No, they wanted the ultimate prize, joining FaZe Clan. So, this is when the first ever edition of the FaZe 5 Recruitment Challenge got introduced. What is up guys, this is FaZe Seabass, and I am here today with a huge announcement. FaZe Seabass. <laughs> they always had the funniest fucking names. Been very highly requested for what's up, what's up guys here, it's FaZe Fudge Stick, going out here with another clip challenge. The phase recruitment challenge. The goal of this challenge was to include your best Black Ops 2 clips, hopefully get selected for the top 100, then gather new clips for the top 20. After which the final. You want to know why? You want to know why Phase Clan is uh is not as popular as it used to be? Uh, because gaming orgs as a whole have uh kind of only become <laughs> like for 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 pro competition, really. Gaming orgs are genuinely for pro competition. That's about it. There was there was a time and there was a place where gaming orgs were the pinnacle of content. Um, but since other streamer content houses were created, like OTK, uh, and just like other streamers kind of branched out themselves, got bigger on their own, showed it could be done by yourself and you didn't need a fucking uh, org to, to help you and showed that you could make your own group that wasn't, uh, j like, drawn to a contract, it, it kind of just fell out. Like, FaZe and just other gaming orgs are still relevant in terms of pro sports or pro esports, but they're never going to be big in term. They're never going to be as big as they were in, ten in terms of content creation. Because when you think of content creators, who do you think of? If you think, oh, I'm going to go watch a gaming YouTuber or streamer, you're probably going to watch, like, Tim the Tap Man. You might, you might watch Nick Merckx. He's in FaZe, but no one really knows that. He doesn't really use his intertwiningness with FaZe that much. Uh, you're going to watch XQC. You're going to watch... You might watch Mr. Beast. You might watch Markiplier, Moist Critical. People that aren't signed to anyone, right? Or me. You might watch me play fucking video games. You're going to watch people that might have signs, like signings to management companies like I do, but they're not, like, not going to be signed to an organization because those take money there's a lot of logistics in that on why streamers choose to not sign with orgs a lot because they kind of do take a lot of money from you but they also provide a lot of opportunity but the main reasoning is there's no need for them for content creation anymore life would ultimately be selected by public votes the fans absolutely love this concept and the introduction videos got hundreds of thousands of views now face clan obviously noticed the huge success of this event and decided to do it again in 2014 with a g fuel sponsorship and this is where prices started to come in thanks to our friends over at g fuel the phase five are going to win all expense paid trip to mlg anaheim with us in june their community focused strategy was obviously working and that was just when g fuel was pretty small too. The views went even crazier this time, with the winner introduction video getting over one million. Charlie's literally in an org. I thought Charlie owns an org. <laughs> I don't think Charlie's in one. Doesn't he own one? I don't think he's in one. He owns an organization. He himself is a content creator. He owns a pro Rocket League one. 
million views. This was amazing. Not only did they grow their- Read my bets, read my bets. Sorry if I'm annoying. Dude, you're fine. It's just, I, I, it takes time for me to read bets sometimes. Do you have VIPs? Yes. Left McDonald's. Oh, do you have any VIPs left? What do you mean? Like any VIP spots? Yes. Uh, but I'm not going to VIP you. You're not, you haven't been in my chat long enough. Um, and I don't VIP people when they ask. Uh, McDonald's or Wendy's? Uh, I would say McDonald's on a daily occasion. Lay dog for the sub, only for the sub. Their channel with these events, they also stayed close to their support. He owns most esports and Rocket League and oh, for Rocket League and Smash. Yes. And they decided to do another recruitment challenge not long after. This is when Phase One got introduced for the first. Dude, they look so young there. They're all like fucking like what, like seventeen to twenty. This is when they were all starting out. And phase one got introduced for the first time ever. And it started at the beginning of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This event was an invitational for all phase five top 100 G Carlo winners. For the sub. And this time, only one of them would win. Phase Clan started upping the entertainment with new challenges and team compositions. And the view stayed consistent as a result. But this was unfortunately going to be their last recruitment challenge for a while. As phase Clan was evolving. They started creating competitive teams for different games. And with new team houses is getting bought and real life content becoming a priority they started becoming more than just a gaming team but there is one game that would accelerate their growth to even higher levels and that game was fortnite For did fortnite really make phase bigger oh for tifu oh i forgot about that Tifu was in fucking phase. But Battle Royale took over the world. And FaZe Clan was busy dominating this new game with incredible signings. Slowly turning their childhood team into an enormous company. However, they of course didn't forget about their community. As they finally hosted another Phase 5 for Fortnite players in 2018. And a Phase 5 in 2020 for everyone. Once again, all getting around a million views on each introduction. FaZe Clan got the formula down to a T. Get a top 100. Get a top 25 make them do different types of challenges, pick a few winners, and get the community excited. The appeal of people joining FaZe in those competitions was also if they won the competition, they would get a boost of growth. But that was only because the FaZe competitions themselves were popular. Because FaZe 1 as a whole isn't as popular as it used to be, the person who wins it usually doesn't receive a massive increase in viewership. They kind of say the same like that guy showed just because... The show itself isn't pop as popular as it used to be, and so the person that wins isn't going to be as popular. It'd be the same thing if, like, Survivor fell off. If the winner of Survivor it had 10,000 viewers, he's not going to really gain anything after that. Every event had to be bigger Rich for the and bets. better. But this resulted in the disaster that was Phase 1 2022. Meanwhile, somewhere in Quebec, Canada, a young Gabriel started playing Call of Duty and watching FaZe Clan. It was 2012 and FaZe inspired him to pick up a controller and start sniping. This is where his journey began as pros and participating in the second ever FaZe 5 was his first chance at success. Unfortunately, he didn't make it, but this started Damn. his obsession of joining FaZe and he had to grow his channel to increase his odds. This is when he decided to make French content. Well, and FaZe kind of kind of isn't as popular because Call of Duty fell the fuck off. Am I wrong in saying that? Call of Duty fell the fuck off. Are you going to stream again with JoJo? Yes. And his views increased as a result. Focusing down on this French niche resulted in rapid growth to 10,000 subscribers and 50,000 subscribers. But saw a real climb at the end of 2019. Bro started playing Modern Warfare and Warzone. Bro, turn this vid off, L. Y'all voted for me to turn this video on. I gave y'all an option of three videos, and y'all voted for this vid. If you didn't want to watch this video, why did you vote for it? This made his channel absolutely explode. He went from 10,000 views to 2 million views, and gained wow. 31,000 subscribers in a single month. This resulted in pros also starting his streaming career on Twitch. And this proved to be a great decision, as he quickly established himself as one of the top French-speaking streamers with 1,500 to 2,000 average viewers per month. However, during all of this, he didn't turn his eyes away from FaZe, because he participated in all FaZe recruitment challenges. But 
seem to get nowhere until the 2020 phase 5 got announced bros now oh my god actually though can we get to the part where phase fell the fuck off because i'm not trying i don't I, i'm not trying to listen to the story of pros one million dollars in cryptocurrency he brand, won okay he won new nissan gtr and a 250 wait well, okay no no now i now i now i want to see what he won he's won $1 million in cryptocurrency, a brand new Nissan GTR, and a $250,000 sponsorship deal with G Fuel. The prices were incredible. This in That's nuts! And that you just win the competition, you get all of that? Instantly created a ton of hype and discussion about the event. As the main price was not only absurdly high, but also controversial. Cryptocurrency is a topic that not everyone agrees with. And it's extremely volatile. So what if the $1 million lost half of its value a day later? Anyway oh, oh, that would have sucked. Imagine you win, you win phase one, and then the second you win, crypto just crashes. Fuck! That would suck. Winning before, winning post-crash would be the best. If you won a million dollars in crypto post-crash, that's good. Because now you have a shitload of Ethereum or Bitcoin. But if you won pre-crash, that's ass. That's straight up dick. If you, I would immediately take that shit out. This question went unanswered, as the hype continued when more details got revealed. The participants would get flown out to LA for 15 days, after which they would then get put into a house together to create a 24-hour livestream reality show. This was the biggest recruitment challenge. Bro, I'm not reacting to a scary Sunday. Stop, spa stop spamming about that, bro, please. I'm not reacting to a Corey Kenshin, uh, scare like, spooky scary Sunday or whatever. ...ever done. And bros made his dream a reality as he ultimately joined face clan and became wait who are the top three made his oh it's showing their f <laughs> this is how they announced the winner who had a million dollars in their fucking uh, crypto wallet dream a reality as he i see a million usd i see 38 fucking ether he ultimately joined face clan and became a millionaire on the same Day. Following this was an interview in which they asked him, Your channel is about to experience a lot of growth. Are you prepared to step up to the next level? However, this explosive growth never happened. He Aww. only gained 2,000 subscribers on YouTube from the announcement and saw a small spike. That's rough. That's rough. That's rough. That's rough. From the announcement, only 2K subs. G Carlo for the 300 bets. The You're the best Twitch streamer on God, thank you. 2,000 subscribers on YouTube from the announcement and saw a small spike of 1,000 viewers on Twitch, after which he then already stagnated. He basically kept the same viewer base on Twitch and actually saw a decline in his YouTube views as he hasn't uploaded in three months. So why did some Bro phase didn't. five... Bro won phase one and then fucking skedaddled. Oh my God. Bro won phase one, said, yeah, thanks for, thanks for the fucking bread, man. And then dipped. Like like Faxities, he growth of more than 1,000%, while pros didn't. Well, it had to do with multiple factors. First of all, Face Clan is losing its original audience. The team has lost subscribers quite frequently since August of 2021, and we can see why in the comments. Face has gone so far downhill, it's insane. Never imagined Face like this. RIP to the Face Clan we used to know and love. Now, Face responded to all of these comments with a video titled Face Clan Fell Off, in which they announced that Face Clan now officially became a publicly traded company. This genuinely had to be the most ironic video ever as they called out the original fans that loved gaming and the relatable vibe of the group but only further solidified their point by announcing another financially driven business move now don't get me wrong Facebook it is a is business now that it, it is a business now that is part of it they're focused more on the money making factor than actually making content and that's the issue uh, a piece of advice that I would have for anybody is just if you're doing social media, if you focus on the money more than you focus on the actual content, you're going to lose you're going to lose um, fans. Right. It's paving you want to have a mixture for what's possible as a gaming team, like signing deals with major brands like Disney and onboarding rappers. But a big part of their audience misses the old content and face glance authenticity. And this also brings me to my next point. People didn't really care about the event. Now, okay, yes, the stream did have around 2,000 viewers on Twitch every single- Yeah, but that's like what I average. And I'm like one person, right? That's like around what I average either less or more depending on the day and what I'm doing. And like if you're 
if I'm averaging what a pro professionally recorded almost TV show esque event, yeah, like I like if I'm averaging what they're like, that's not day and 11,000 on the final day but the videos on YouTube where the majority of their old audiences were wildly underperforming most videos couldn't even get 100,000 views Ooh. while some failed to crack as little as 50,000 damn yeah dude they probably lost money on the event too wow it just wasn't really entertaining wow. to watch. And the actual event came with controversy as well. The audience felt like some of the participants weren't worthy of a spot. And those same participants would then be rude to other players. Honestly, I, I think your accent is kind of getting a little bit annoying, if I can be honest with you. Really? Yeah, it's a little I didn't bit... ask for your opinion, so crazy how that goes. Yeah, right. He said, to be honest, your accent's fucking annoying. I mean, that probably provided some content, at least. Also, they disqualified Potter after he got COVID, making fans angry. After which phase, Glenn had no choice but to pause the event for a while, which killed the momentum and hype even further. And finally, the announcement video of pros barely They kicked him out for getting COVID? Why didn't they just delay the competition? Sorry you got COVID. <laughs> Looks like you can't compete anymore. 100,000 views. The fans really backed him winning the whole event and thought it was deserved. But almost nobody became a new pros viewer due to the poor views of the video and pros being a French content creator. 95% of Well, that's also the issue. Because FaZe is ma majorly viewed by English speaking viewers. His audience can't understand him. This was the cherry on top of an already filled cake. And FaZe Clan and its sponsors definitely made a massive loss on this event. A total of more than $1.5 million was spent on the prize pool alone. And the returns $6,000 in YouTube ad revenue. Dude, they lost they lost 1.5 million dollars. I mean the, the the whole thing is it's an investment, but wow. Maybe twenty thousand dollars in Twitch ad revenue and subs, and a creator that introduced them to a part of the French speaking community. The only true winner from this event was the winner itself. As That's Max! That's Max! Gets to keep doing what he likes. He has his same tight French fan base, gets to be in his dream organization phase, and drives a Nissan GTR as a millionaire. Bros completed the biggest accidental heist in gaming history, but didn't do anything. Yo, he him. actually ran away with a bag. He ran away with a bag, and he's doing the same amount of work that he that he did now, or that he did then now. So, Face Clan just doesn't have the community it used to have. And whether you like the direction they're going, King Wolves tried to join Face, dude. King Wolves should have fucking won. King Wolves or Tommy, bro? Is King Wolves here? Is King Wolves here, bro? He should have fuck. It was him or Tommy, bro. They should have won that shit. It's a fact that Fa I genuinely think Wolves would have grown. I think out of anybody, if they won, because Wolves is literally what like phase as content creation was right like he is a content creator so i think he would i think he would have helped phase a lot what about save the kids oh the fucking crypto scam oh no nah, we're not getting Asian into that gaming. we're not getting into the crypto scam all right chat one or two to end it off now we'll end on this one a different day because this is a good intro video we'll keep that oh chat another day do y'all want to watch movie trailers i was thinking maybe sunday uh, exclamation point discord join the discord send uh, a bunch of upcoming movie trailers ones that haven't come out yet we're gonna watch a lot of them together for like new movies that are coming out either this year or next year uh, and we're gonna like we're gonna rate how good we think the movie's gonna be uh, so do that uh, and then another day we're gonna watch the worst the worst movie trailers ever and the best ones so part of Sunday's reaction stream will be movie trailers right so go exclamation point discord uh, and just send video, like, I, I have a whole, it reminded me, because I, I made a playlist for it. I'm starting to stack videos for the movie trailer, so any upcoming movie trailers that you know of, link in the Discord. Um, thank you. Alright, we're gonna watch this last video. I give a gummy snake to a homeless man. Order some of the three biggest gummy snakes I could find on the internet, and today we're gonna be giving them to the homeless. I searched online for the biggest gummy snake I could find, and once I found the perfect snake, I ordered it. Wow, how kind. How kind of you. It was delivered. We unboxed it. Over two feet long. 
I'm pretty sure I've seen one of these underneath my nan's bed. <laughs> and then we headed out to find a little homeless man. I've always wanted to help the homeless, and now I'm making some money. I feel like I should put the money back into the system. Let's go, guys! Hello? <laughs> homeless man? Anybody homeless? Anybody homeless? You give them a loose gummy snake? Dude, I don't even think a homeless person- I wouldn't take that. If I was homeless and you gave me a fucking gummy snake loose, I'd be like, there's something wrong with this. Hello, you little crackhead. <laughs> Are you good? So, I'm a YouTuber. Um, that's why the camera's there. Okay. And we're giving away free gummy snakes to the homeless. Yeah, do you want one? Do you <laughs> want a gummy snake? Hmm? Mr. Cracky? <laughs> Mr. <Okay>, Cracky? <laughs> That's probably, bro, I feel like he's, it's, it's satirical against, um, like, actual YouTubers that do this. They'll be, like, giving an iPhone to a homeless man. Oh, aren't I so helpful? Oh, you'll record for me, right? I'm gonna make more money off of this than I'm actually helping you. Mate, you don't have to give me anything. Look, because I give, and I don't expect anything back. Film him for a little bit, yeah? Let's see what he does with it. Look, look how grateful he is. What is it? Is it food? It's a fucking gummy snake. <laughs> Don't be ungrateful, mate. Yeah? <laughs> fucking c I work so fucking hard. And you're not even smiling for the content. You're not even smiling. <coughs> Maybe that's the reason you're on the streets. Yeah? So we've given the homeless man the gummy snake, and we're really proud of what you we've just done. just by some standalone brick wall. Today. Smile. Smile for the thumbnail. Smile for that. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I feel really good about today. What uh, is this fucking I'm night cam? Glad that we're finally helping the homeless out, and I just hope that the gummy worm will get him through the winter. I can't wait to check up on him get tomorrow. Get him through the winter. Oh my god. See what he's done with it. See if it's improved his life. See what the gummy snake has done to this homeless man's brain. So we're looking for the homeless man, and we actually can't find him. So... Yeah, hopefully he uh, isn't dead. I'm hoping that he's maybe he's done something with his life and, uh, you know, used the gummy snake to the best of his abilities or something like that. Hello? Is he in there? Mr. Homeless Man. Hello? Oh, I think I see him. Look at that. Oh, he's sitting by another brick yeah. wall. Let's go see what he's doing. You think he ate the gummy snake? How are you doing, mate? Do you remember me? Who are you? I'm the YouTuber from yesterday. Hmm? I gave you the gummy snake. What gummy snake? You know, the gummy snake to help you out. Do you not remember? No. No? Why? No. Okay. Well. Fuck's sake. What a load of shit. This homeless <laughs> man has lost the gummy snake that I gave him last night. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. I think I see it. What is it covered in? He's come on the gummy snake. <laughs> <laughs> this snake is now a cummy snake. Oi! <laughs> what are you doing? He's gonna fucking catch you. Why the fuck did you come on the gummy snake? You think it's funny to come on the gummy snake, do you? Nice. Fuck off, you little ungrateful prick. Lick it. Lick the cummy snake now. Lick it. Good boy. Good boy. Look at him. Can't even handle his own cum. What a waste of money. I'm taking this right back to the post office. Oh my god. What a waste of fucking money. Waste of money. What a load of shit. I'm sending this shit back to the post office. Fucking pissed off! I'm pissed off! The amount of fucking money I've wasted on these videos. They never go anywhere. Do you guys want to see Brooke? She just got to my house. She texted me. I gotta go unlock the door. I'll play the video for you guys. I'll play the video for you guys. Hold up. Fucking bullshit. It's just a waste of time, isn't it? It's a big waste of time.
Because I can't buy return this place. Good riddance for that video idea. What's this? Return to sender. Alright, we're back. What's happened? What is this? It better not be that fucking snake. Right, guys, this was not planned. We have a She's walking console. upstairs. Let's see what it is. Oh. It's the snake. All right. All right, we're going to stop the video. We're going to stop the video. I think it's bigger. You going to come say hi to chat? Everybody say hi, Brooke. Hi, hi Joe's girlfriend. Hi, Brooke. Hi, Brooke. Everybody act normal. Look how much tanner I look than you. I don't think you look that much tanner than me. I'm a gamer. I don't see the light. Yeah, I, do. I wake up at noon. Unless I have class. I'm out of breath from this day, huh? They're all so excited to see you, as you can see. They keep saying our girlfriend. No. Let's our? not. Yeah, our. Sorry, I hate when no. people. Yeah, I hate when people. But I wasn't sure if you meant, like, because I, I was thinking W, so I was. No, sure they're, no they're, think our. they're saying our girlfriend. Our was not our no not h-o all right well that's the end you guys get to see brooke oh, that's a good little Wait, outro a fit check. Am I in it? In frame? you can see yourself in frame top is zara. she said the top pants. is zara i have to repeat what you say pants. this is a short mic pants are airy. uh she said the pants are airy the uh shoes had a fire They're yeah wow shadowed pastel Air Force one. how cool Boyfriend, got him at Walmart. Yeah, okay. That's a bit rude. You just said you got me at Walmart. I love Walmart. All right. Well, most people use Walmart as an insult. You're choking me. I can't breathe. <coughs> Y'all want to see her eat a bean boozled? <laughs> no, you're not going to eat. I'm not going to I'm not going to get my chat to peer pressure you. All right. We're going to raid. We're going to raid. Um, Who do we raid, chat? Who do we raid? Should I let Brooke choose someone to raid? Brooke, who do you want to raid on my following list? On your following list? Yeah, pick someone. Pick someone Is out Judy of these. Streaming? No. Pick someone out of these people. Is JoJo streaming? No. Actually, is JoJo streaming? Oh, he is streaming. Oh, let's raid JoJo. Yeah, let's raid fucking JoJo. Oh, he's doing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, because that motherfucker has a PS5. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely raid him. All right. Uh, we're going to be playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 next week, chat, because I have it on PC. I don't have a PS, or I don't have a PlayStation. So we'll be playing the beta next week. Uh, you guys said you wanted to see that, so that should be good. Uh, Beef Corn for the Thringe Bets. I will be live uh, to, oh my god, he told me to ring Rangar. Bro, well, I let my girlfriend choose. She didn't choose Rangar. So, you know, you can't really blame me on that one, and we're raiding JoJo. I'll ra I know I told you I would raid uh, Rangar. I will one day, I promise. Thank you for the Thringe Bets, Beef Corn. I'm sorry. I will raid Rangar one day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to be live tomorrow doing uh, Food Truck Sim, new game. Dumb in the chat for that. W stream as well. W stream, W new game. Going to be live tomorrow doing uh, Food Truck Sim. Sunday, we're going to be doing uh, reactions, exclamation point Discord. You can join the Discord and send videos for me to react to. Uh, we're going to be doing um, movie. I, you're distracting me. I have to focus for my outro. We're doing movie. Uh, we're doing movie trailer. We're watching movie trailers on Sunday as well as other reactions. Uh, Monday, probably going to be doing Fortnite on Bands. Tuesday off. Wednesday, we're starting Spider-Man Remastered. Good shit, W Stream. See you guys tomorrow. We're rating 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That was... That was...